happy face. What's going on, guys? Rich Boy Jay and Garrett back again with another video. Today, we're obviously going to be working on Crate. And um, before we get started on any of that, I want everyone to say happy birthday to my man Garrett. Thanks, Just Ice. Just Ice showing love. Thanks, Preston. You do still look 18. Wow. I don't. Can 18 year olds grow amazing facial hair like this, though? Of course. I don't think so. Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah. So today we are going to be working on the mountains, and I'm actually starting a new square for the big door. So this will actually be pretty interesting because I'm still not entirely sure how this thing is going to work out, but hopefully Lego it does. Kind of quiet. Oh, here. I'll pump up. Oh, I see why. Okay. It should be better now. What's going on, Brother Pixel Animations? Brother Pixel Animations. All right, so here's here's actually what we're gonna do for this stream, Garrett. You, you've you're kind of become a legend on this channel. You've reached the pinnacle of fame and fortune. So we're gonna there's nowhere to go. We're gonna recount your life through the years. <laughs> so I want you to throughout the stream, I want you to drop some some like lego star wars memories from your childhood like up until this point okay um so we can actually do you think you have something like like one of your first memories you want some time to think about it yeah i think i've talked about this before but like my earliest i'll talk about my two earliest memories of star wars okay so the earliest i can think is me being really little and asking my dad if we can go watch star wars again now i don't have Episode one or no, the original trilogy because okay. they re-released them in theaters in the late nineties. Right. So I was like, I was pretty young when they re-released, but I don't have any memory of actually watching them in the theater. But oh. I did apparently go, and my dad said that I cried through most of it because oh, I, okay. I was too little and it was loud and stuff. So you had watched it at home before, and then you're like, "Hey, let's go watch it." Like, no, I think the theaters was the first time I'd seen them. They were oh, so even them. though you cried, you were like, "Oh, let me but still go watch." That's it the thing, yeah. So okay. I don't have any memory, and apparently my dad says like I didn't enjoy it at the time, but okay. I have memory of later on. This was probably like a year later, and I didn't okay. understand the way movies worked. They did. I thought they were just in theaters all the time. Right. Yeah. So I told my dad, I was like, "Can we go? I want to like go see Star Wars," and he was like, yeah. "They're not in the theaters anymore." And I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> and then, but so that's that's really my earliest memory of thinking, because like like I've 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 said before. I've there, I don't recall a period of my life where I hadn't seen Star Wars. Right. I got you. I got you. But that's that's pretty much the earliest I can go. The other memory I can think of is when Episode One was announced, when it was coming out. Okay. My I remember my gra my grandmother telling me she was like she's like Garrett there's a they're gonna do new Star Wars movies and I was like what and she was like yeah it's gonna be about Luke Skywalker when he was like a little kid and I remember thinking as like I was like. Luke Skywalker as a kid, like, he's just gonna be on Tatooine. What's the point? Yeah. Are we gonna see it? I was, and I was thinking, like, we would see, like, basically a kid Han Solo and a kid Luke and a kid Leia, like, running around. Like, that's what I thought it was, and then it wasn't until... Star Kids. It wasn't until I saw that first teaser poster, where it yeah. had the Darth Vader shadow behind it. Yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's about Anakin. Right. So I, I remember having that conversation with my grandma, and, like, she had misunderstood what she had heard. I think it is pretty cool how, like, like, you're still like young enough to have basically come up in the prequel age but you're old enough to have like been aware of star wars before the yeah. prequels were a thing yeah so i no, think that's I, kind of an interesting perspective i have memories of star wars but like before the prequels were a thing before jar jar before jar jar did you didn't you just love jar jar when you were a kid i actually really like i can't even remember what i thought of jar jar i remember, jar jar was such a nothing character to me like it was just he was kind of there. Oh, happy birthday to CEO Clone Commander. Happy late birthday. It was his birthday two weeks ago. CEO Clone Commander hit the big one four. Um, but yeah, those are probably like those are probably my two earliest, earliest Star Wars memories. That's what's up. Okay. I wish I could remember what my first Lego Star Wars set was. I would. I, but I would really have no idea. Snoop Dogg says the best present you received on your birthday. Well, definitely that Sand Trooper last year. That Sand, that Black Series Sand Trooper was pretty clutch. I love that figure so much. It's a great figure. That was back when Black Series figures had like accessories with them. Yeah, it had three guns. Three guns. guns. Yeah. Like I, I have the bigger cannon one. He carries that one, and then my regular Stormtrooper carries the like the long skinny gun. You know, yeah. he carries that one. Um. But yeah, uh, best birthday present ever received. 
That's a good question. I'll have to think about that for a minute. What about you, Jalen? Do you have a best birthday present ever received? Um, yeah, so this is this is also somewhat of my like Lego Star Wars history. Um, it was like a it was like a kind of a two for one birthday deal, but I'll give you like one of them was me going to a wrestling show on my birthday, but that's not the important one. The important one is when I turned this is in two thousand and seven, I believe. Two thousand two thousand eight. Either two thousand seven or two thousand eight. Basically the year when the Clone Wars movie came out. That was oh eight, right? Or was it oh seven? I think that would have been oh seven. Yeah, I think it was oh seven. I think it was later than that. It had I think I think the Clone Wars movie was like oh eight. Then maybe the Lego sets came out before it, because because it would have come out in May, right? I don't know. I assu- I would assume so. I feel, okay, I'm sure the movie, if the movie came out in May, because I got the so basically it was um whenever the Clone Wars movie came out, Lego re released the Republic gunship, and um, my grandmother took me to Midnight Madness at Toys R Us, and I got a bunch of those Clone Wars sets, which I mean it was in July, so I feel like. That's like if the movie got in May. That's a really early time to release the sets. How about this? Anyone in the chat? When, when did the Clone Wars movie come out? Was it in May? Cam All Star Brick says, "Happy birthday, Garrett!" Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone for the birthday wishes. I'm right where I want to be on my B day. Preston Cooper says, "Did you hear about the theory of Jar Jar working for the Separatists and he was friends with them to mess up their plans and then?" what they were doing you know speaking of that yeah Jay and i just watched uh <laughs> what's up palma postal and majestic mango we just watched star wars the clone wars season four episode two or four or five it was shadow episode, warrior yeah. um in which spoilers is the is the episode where captain tarpoles gungan legend is killed by general grievous garrett made me watch it i didn't want to we watched that before the stream um, and after watching that, I would find it really hard to believe that Jar Jar was working for the Separatists, because yeah. <laughs> he definitely tries his hardest to mess them up in that episode. Yeah. What's up, NCO Secret Studios? Of course we missed you. We miss all of you when we're not streaming. Honestly, this is actually not even a joke. Whenever we're not streaming, we often will, like, recount interactions we've had with some of you in the yeah. stream. That's true. Apparently, Lego Bricks is working on a Kylo Ren costume, and he's almost done with it. That is cool. That is really cool. What's up, Archie Mary? I'll bet bet. What was your first set? Um, it's hard. I really don't know. I mean, it was probably like a Duplo set, because I had Duplo bricks when I was really little. So if those count, then it was a Duplo set. But actual Lego sets, like the ones I have earliest memories of, it was a one of the castle sets. It had a witch in it. It was a castle. There was a draw, like a little trap thing you would drop down. And then there was this other Insectoids one. I don't know if it was called Insectoids or if it was the uh, it was the um, it was the space theme where they dressed up like bugs. If anyone remembers. These are from the mid to late 90s. What's up, the Benjamin? <sighs> CL Clone Commander says, Jay, I still get friends freaking out when they see your comment on my vid. Guess you are just a very well-known guy. Well, guys, I'm kind of a big deal in the Lego community. <laughs> I'm a bigger deal than Finn is in the Resistance. He's a big deal. You watch Mr. Out for big deal. First Order sympathizers. Exactly. Boba Fett Brick says, Happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate all the love, guys. Show some love to your main boy yo. This was where I was... Wanted to be for my birthday. Listen up. Big deal. Women always find out the truth. Ain't that the truth? Guys, Han was not lying. Star Wars Bricks Production says, Hello there. Happy birthday, Garrett. Looking forward to this stream. I hope you enjoy your day, man. There's 
No mod in the chat. We need Stormy. Someone get him in here. Where is Stormy? Our mods can't even show up on my birthday. Can you believe it? It's outrageous. It's not fair. Guys, it's mail time. Mail time. There's the mail that never fails and makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail. You guys get to see a live edition of Mail Time with Rich Boy J. <sighs> Here is officially 552. How did you know? Mmm. Nothing smells better than good old Lego bricks. Oh, is that a... Uh, Straight from the factory. Yeah, I put it in... It's a PAB order. It is indeed. So I got... Oh my god, that's a lot. I don't even remember how many of these I got. I think this is... Alright, so I got 800 of these. Just big, dark gray slopes. For the mountains, obvi. And then I got... Maybe 100 each of these reverse slopes. Maybe 200. Who knows. Got a bunch of those in dark gray and white. So yeah, we out here, y'all. And it is cold, just like Haas. Sleep Dope says, Garrett, does your Lego dude have a Han Solo torso or Cassian Andor torso? It's Cassian Andor torso. I ended up with two of those figures, so it was more of a convenience thing. I think I might... Well, for anyone who watched my video on my channel, I, I, I have like a alternate sig fig. Rick Oli. Basi it's basically, yeah. Garrett Oli. Basically what I'm going to do whenever I do a video like that, not for every video, but if, whenever I do those review and mock like uh, uh, showcase videos, I'm going to have like a sig fig of myself that like fits in with that mock. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're like a, you're Stan Lee in your own universe. Exactly. I'm a cameo in all my mocks. What's up? It's me, Minecraft. Thanks for showing some love to the G-Man. Preach, preach, preach. <laughs> Garrett's birthday bot. Garrett's birthday bot. Is Garrett's birthday bot going to be here to remind everyone it's Garrett's birthday <laughs> every 10 minutes? Hey guys, what day is it? It's my birthday. I'll try to think of uh, Star Wars. Star Wars man. Star Wars memories. Because I'm money wasted from the archive, man. Oh. Ah, oh. That's my favorite Star Wars character. His name is That Twerp. <laughs> that Twerp. Someone, like, brought his name up once. Oh, yeah. And then we were like, who is that? And then we looked up and we were like, oh, no. <laughs> Too soon. Or no, it wasn't that kid. It was the one that got lasered by Annie. In the, oh yeah, that's true. In the, yeah. the council room. Never mind. That's not the same game. No. Can you guys see that bucket of one by one? Wow. Wow is right. Wow. 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 Wee. Wow. By the way, Garrett, all the brethren, brethren, and Thron Lug wish you a happy birthday. Thank you, Thron Lug. Shout out to Thron Lug. Shout out to Thron Lug. Where's, do you have that cup of one by one sanguine? I just need one. It's me says, just finished my sig fig. I can send it to you too if you would like on Discord. I'm also putting in it in, what are you making on both Discord, on Discord on both channels. Okay. Yeah, uh, put it in there. We'll definitely check it out, homie. We'll check it. Someone wants to know, what's your favorite birthday snack? Favorite birthday snack? Yeah. Hmm. You know, you can't have your birthday without your birthday snack. My birthday snack. Well, I had donuts this morning. So Where from? Shipley's. Hey. The correct place. Okay, <laughs> let's not get ahead of ourselves. I mean, I'm no Krispy Kreme hater, but... Bro, Krispy Kreme all day. Krispy Kreme is great. I feel like you Shipley's have to. Better. You have to go to Shipley's at the right time. If they're not warm, like you're like it's it's uh, if Shipley's are warm, like that is that's some great donuts. But I don't, I don't like mind. even 
I feel like even not warm Krispy Kreme donuts are amazing. Mm. It's a snack. What's up, the Gaunt Droid? The one and only Gaunt Droid. Actually, there were quite a few Gaunt Droids, but it's okay. But I had um, a donuts this morning, and I'm going to have wings tonight, so I guess those would be my two birthday snacks. Where are you getting wings from? Uh, Wingstop. Hey. That is the place to go get wings. Oh, yeah. Like, come on. Guys, like, okay, guys. I don't hate Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't judge you for going to Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a great place to watch sporting events because they have a million TVs. Yep. But, man, their service is terrible. Dang. And their wings are average. Bro, we're, someone from V-Dubs just emailed me, and they're like, we're going <laughs> to offer you a this, sponsorship. Is this the official stance on V-Dubs by the <laughs> Rich Boy J Incorporated team? Someone says, what if Garrett was Luke Skywalker? Would he complain about Tashi Station, or would he go and get those power converters anyways? That's a good question. If you were Luke Skywalker, would you just listen to your uncle and, you know, do what you're supposed to do, or would you just go get the power converters anyways? Probably not. I'd probably react the same way Luke did. Wow. Come on. As an 18, as Have a young 18-year-old, my uncle bossing me around, I'd be like, yo, home slice, I ain't gotta listen to you. you you're whack. Uncle. My dad is Darth Vader. You're whack. I would love to see a Star Wars universe in which Luke was aware his dad was Darth Vader and he just throw it in everyone's face. <laughs> My dad is Darth Vader. Do you know who I am? He would go to like B-dubs and they would give that awful surface you just talked about and he'd be like, do you know who I am? Do you know who do I am? Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? He's the biggest baddie in the galaxy. Fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. Oh, John Cena said happy birthday. Thanks, John Cena. Do, 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 do. Cool Jesus is apparently eating a cake in your honor. Wow. Yeah, we're celebrating Garrett's birthday all across the world, guys. It's a, it's pretty much a national holiday at this point. It's like the royal wedding. Yeah. <laughs> we're, that's why we're live streaming right now. It's a celebration, guys. Give me a bag of just... Oh, wait. Boy, I'll just use these. Don't be trying to make me do extra work now. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's see. I'll try to think of some more early Star Wars movies. I can go through how I I've seen uh, all the prequels in theaters. And so okay, so let's let's talk about that then. Do you recall like your reaction to Episode One? Or maybe, how about the build-up and reaction? So, like, was it like a, did you see it, like, right when it came out, where you're like, oh, like, we need to go see this immediately, or was it just kind of like, oh, we're gonna go see Star Wars this weekend, and you're like, oh, yeah, that it came out. Yeah, no, I definitely, I wasn't old enough to, like... Make sure you fill that hole in right there. Oh, that's what I was, oh, okay, I was cool. literally about to do that. But, like... What's up, Mr. Lucas? Um, like, I wasn't old enough to be, like, a, like aware and, like, be excited for it. Yeah. Because, like, okay, 99... May of 99, that would have been the month I would have been turning six or seven. Yeah, you would, I think we would have been turning seven. I would have been turning seven. I would have turned, no, I would have turned four, so you probably were turning six. Okay. Yeah, so I was turning six. So, oh man. Um, John Cena says we should troll everyone by using burps for the mountain. I don't even own any burps. Actually, I do, but I don't. I have like six of them or so. I've never purchased a burp off of Bricklink or anything. Um, but yeah, I, I I think the first time I went and saw it, I was in Dallas visiting family. Okay. And I went with, I think my little sister, so she would have been like four, and then my grandma and grandpa. And I mean, I remember watching the movie, and I don't remember like, I mean, I'm sure I loved it as a little kid. It's just a movie. Kids like anything that's dumb. <laughs> but I, but uh, I was distinctly remember. Oh, there, there goes the the prequel. It's bashing. my birthday. I can bash the prequels all I want to. It's my birthday. I bash the prequels if I want to. But the main thing is, I remember walking out, and my grandma's favorite scene was when Qui Gon Jinn was talking about pod racing, and she was like, she was like, I like the way he said it was very dangerous. Like I don't know. <laughs> she always liked that for whatever reason. I love, she didn't really care about the pod race itself. She preferred when Qui Gon was talking about yeah, and it. She always quote what that. a movie! Very very dangerous. You need Jedi reflexes. I'm the only human who can do it. 
Why is he the only human that can do it? Yeah. That's stupid. Anyway. Mr. Lucas, we did indeed meet DP Studios on May the 4th. We did. I saw him on May the 4th, and then I saw him the very next day, actually, at a... <laughs> oh, no. Kenneth, no. Okay, so welcome back, Kenneth. He says, wow, as soon as I get out here, there's already pretty cool fashion. I'm sorry, Kenneth. I don't know why, but it seems like all of the, like, the, like, hardcore prequel supporters always come in right when we start bashing prequels. I barely bashed, okay? I just, yeah. That was more of a comment about kids disliking anything. Yeah. Like, a kid's gonna like an ep- episode one the same amount they'll like episode seven. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I remember watching that movie and being like, okay, and I actually would watch episode one once it came out on DVD whenever I was in Dallas, they, like, bought it. Uh-huh. And so, like, they had it on VHS. They still have it on a VHS copy. I see that whenever I go up there. But, um, so, that was something that I, we would just watch all the time. Episode okay. one. Um, but yeah, so, that was, I don't remember anything about, like, what I thought of the movie or anything, but I just remember walking out of the theater at my grandma saying... That Qui-Gon fell over. Qui-Gon. It's very, very dangerous. I remember being really sad when Qui-Gon, like, died. I was just like, oh no. Yeah, that's tragic. The the Jedi man died. The Jedi man, yeah. That's All pretty right, much so what it was. Still do, have, do you think you have a, you still have a big bag of those one by threes? Like the light gray ones? I have a big bag of them in brown. Okay. I don't although Actually no, they, I do have them in gray. Are they buried? I'd rather use the gray ones because I have more of those. Okay. Are you an angel? Thanks, Ace Gamer Studios. All right, cool, Jesus. Make sure you, when you're in that shower, don't turn that water into wine. That's not how you get clean. That's how you get turned. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I remember so episode one. That would have been 1999. I was six years old. And then we'll jump forward to episode two. In episode two, I remember a lot more of it. My first ever... Wish Garrett a happy birthday by bashing the prequels. Yeah, you can say happy birthday, Garrett, and then list your thing you hate most about the prequels. <laughs> It'll make me happy on my birthday. Thanks. Um, oh, so the next question I was going to ask is, so do you think, like, episode one cemented your love of Star Wars? Like, were you a no. diehard at this point, or was it just kind of a thing you liked? No, it was just a thing I liked. The okay. thing that cemented me as a diehard Star Wars fan was probably... Uh, um, episode three, no, it would have. It, it was the original trilogy, and it's the fact that um, my aunt, and uncle, in Dallas had the whole trilogy on VHS. Oh, okay. And so that was just one of the things I would do when I was there. I would just watch Star Wars. Okay, cool, good, good. Because uh, they didn't have the prequels on DVD, so what's going on, Lego Star Wars Pro? But anyways, so okay, wait, what Lego set would you want for free? I guess just the most expensive set, the <laughs> Millennium Falcon. I get the Millennium Falcon for free. I agree. Uh, yeah, uh, it's me. We'll check out your um, Discord posts after the stream. We try to check our phones infrequently while we're streaming. Guys, our focus, be respectful. Our focus is on you guys. Exactly. But okay, so. But episode episode two. one kind of gone and passed now. Yeah. The build up to episode two is coming. Did you? How aware were you that like, oh, there's gonna be more Star Wars movies coming out? Like, did that set in like, oh, like we're getting a bunch of Star Wars movies? I knew that there was gonna be more because okay. I was like, oh, because we have to have episode two and then episode three. Okay. Um, because four, five, and six. Was it something that you like actively thought about or? Not that I can remember. Okay. I remember seeing a trailer, like a, a preview for it on TV one time when the whole family was in the living room. It was like one of the earlier trailers for episode two uh-huh. came on, and like I remember being really confused because it was called Attack of the Clones. Yeah. And then like I wasn't close to the TV. I remember like sitting way in the back, and I was just kind of like, because I was doing something else, like playing Game Boy or something. But I was squinting and I saw the TV, and no one had big TVs back then. Everyone's yeah. TV was small. <laughs> um, and the trailer at one point you see Anakin and Obi Wan running, but I what I in my little kid brain for some reason I saw them as. Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. Oh, okay. Because Obi-Wan yeah. had, like, long hair. Yeah. And one of them had a green lightsaber, one of them a blue lightsaber in this yeah. specific shot. 
and Anakin had short hair and the little ponytail thing. And so I was thinking, and it was called Attack of the Clones, and I was like, are they are there gonna be Anakin and Obi Wan clones? So that was my <laughs> that was my very original thought of what those movies were gonna be. You were very disappointed when you got to that theater. I, I know. Imagine. I was like, I wanted Jedi clones. I got you. I should have read the extended universe. I oh yeah. So happy. Um, but I can't remember being excited for it. But I I must have been because I for my birthday that year, May birthday. Um, I went and saw episode two for my birthday. Right. I went with some friends. I don't remember who took us, but I went to see it. And I fell in love with Natalie Portman. Wow. She was my first crush. I'm sad to see how you've betrayed her. I have moved on. Yeah. To better things. SMH. Don't get it twisted. I know it's your birthday, but you better show some respect to the first lady of Star Wars. Bro. I guess she isn't the first lady of Star Wars, but... You know what? I mean. She um, ate nothing. Okay, so after Next episode two, Star Wars Pro. do you feel that like your appreciation or your love for Star Wars grew any, or does it still kind of stay at the same level for you? It's hard to say. I remember buying a lot of episode two Lego sets, or not buying, but getting a lot for my birthday. Right. Because I had that Count Dooku set with Yoda. Oh yeah. I had the little with Anakin. The bike. Yeah, and I had the little Anakin speeder bike with the Saiyan people. Um, I had the. This set, the first set of this, not this obviously, yeah. but this this ship. That was a really good set. I thought I got that set for my birthday that year. I remember being it was really like twenty bucks, a nice little starfighter build. Mm-hmm. And I got a Jedi. I got I had, so I had Obi Wan and Anakin. Um, what else? I had, I had some other episode two sets, but I remember really wanting the Republic gunship and the ATTE sets. Oh yeah, never getting them. And I even um, I even remember like. I built my own ATTE. Like, I mean, it was like tiny and it had like, I, I used those big leg pieces from those old bug alien sets. The remember? ones that kind of went like that? Yes. I yeah. used those for the legs. <laughs> but so I like made my own battles based on episode two. So I remember yeah. like, as a kid, I think I really liked that one a lot. So I guess you didn't even have any clone figures because the clones only came no, in those two I big never sets. had a clone figure. How annoying is that? Like, you kids are so spoiled. When we were children, well, I guess. They it didn't kind have of battle packs yet. Yeah, there were no battle packs. I remember how, like, special each of my clone figures were whenever, like, episode three came out, because, like, that was really it, you know, it was yeah. just from the sets I got, so I had, I think I may have had, like, a couple plain white ones, I had the red one, and the two chic ones that came in that set, Cody, and I guess, a, yeah, it, it, Cody, I guess Cody had, like, a jetpack in that, uh, in the turbo tank. No, it, there was a different clone that had that jet. Oh, that's right. Commander that's right, that's Cody right. was in it. He had a little pauldron. That's right, that's right. Okay. And he also had two pistols, I believe. Yeah, he did. Why not just... Why not? I don't know. <laughs> um, there were revolvers, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, episode two seems like it kind of just came and went for you. Yeah, I mean, I was... like, I, I remember... I, from what I can remember, I think I enjoyed it a lot. And I loved, I loved the idea of the clones and stuff. And yeah. the big battles... Like I said, I really wanted an, a uh, gunship and all that stuff. And I went for that for my birthday. Alright, so now, Garrett, the greatest Star Wars movie of all time is approaching. Star Wars Episode, episode three. 3. You know, they say that movie's a lot darker than the other ones. It's the darkest of the three It's the prequels. darkest of the three prequels. So, Episode 3 vastly approaches. And I feel like the hype for Episode 3 was just tremendous like it was it was everywhere this is kind of when i started getting into lego star wars and mm -hmm. i remember like it was just everywhere like you couldn't do, do anything without seeing something with darth vader and yeah. it was weird because you know he was barely in the movie yeah. but, like darth vader is literally everywhere um yep 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 so how did you feel kind of going up to this one because did you, I guess, did you understand, like, oh, this is the movie where Anakin has to become a bad guy? Oh, yeah. Because okay. I was old enough, this was, I, would, I was in sixth grade. That's right, that's yeah. Point. So, I was old enough, I knew, like, I was, I basically, I remember having several, before this movie came out, I was, this, this is probably the most excited I was for a Star Wars movie back then, because I was uh -huh. the most aware. But I remember thinking, I was like, okay, so I wonder how the Jedi are all going to die. Right. And I remember being sad, thinking that Mace Windu was going to have to die. I was like, I wonder how Mace Windu is going to die. And then... I remember thinking, um, I think that those are the main two things I was, like, thinking of going to the movie that I can remember. Okay. Um, and then, uh... Hey, shout out to Charlie Edwards Sports and More. Appreciate the donation. Appreciate it, man. 
Um, so go ahead, continue. And Snoop Doge is asking a good question. I'll, I'm, I just want to say it so I remember it, and I'll answer it after I'm done talking about episode three. He's asking which generation of Star Wars was your favorite and your favorite generation for the Lego sets. Okay. So we'll get back to that one. That's a good one to think of. But yeah, yeah episode three. So I remember being excited leading up to it and just wondering about how everything was going to finally tie in. And, right. it did, and it, I remember thinking, like, it's settling in on me that this was going to be the last Star Wars movie we were going to get. Okay. Because I was like, this is the final piece of the puzzle. This is the last Star Wars movie. Um, I feel like I never thought that. I always thought. No, I was, I was. I was such an optimistic little boy. I was convinced. I remember I would look up like fake articles on the internet and be like, "Oh look, <laughs> George Lucas says he's gonna make more Star Wars movies," oh. um, which would be really depressing if that never actually happened. Uh, but anyways, so you had pretty good perspective going into this movie. Um, how did you feel? I guess when the movie happened, like, did you feel the deaths? Did it, oh yeah, no, I play with your emotions. I'm pretty. I loved it when it came out. Like uh-huh. I was like, I had like the whole soundtrack on my, uh, on my iPod. Okay. It was uh, an iPod. Maybe it was a shuffle at that point. Um. And so, and I just like listened to all those songs all the time. So I loved that. And uh, what did it, I wonder? I think my whole family went to see it. Okay. And I remember. I remember us all being pretty, not all of us, I, 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 my dad was probably pretending to be excited, <laughs> um, but like the rest of us kids were all hyped and like, dude, I want to go home and watch the rest of the Star Wars. Like, I want to yeah. like watch four, five, and six now that we've watched three. Right. Um, so we were all pretty excited about that. And I do remember for episode three, the, ex- the lead up to it, I remember seeing the trailer for the first time in the movie theater. I was seeing okay. another movie yeah. and I saw the trailer for it and like, it gave me like chills. I was like, whoa, yeah. like. The, the galaxies at war and like there was clips of Anakin walking up the Jedi Temple and stuff and I was like I was oh, like yeah. whoa this is like this is the final Star Wars movie this is crazy so Man. there was there was a lot of that so do you think so this is, so I feel like episode one and two your kind of appreciation for Star Wars take the same would you say episode three made you more of a fan yeah okay because i started i like like i saved up all my money that summer and bought the turbo tank yeah legendary turbo tank set from episode three. Oh yeah. arc 170 i had that set. Dark gray one by two please i see one i don't know oh, yeah appreciate it um the arc 170 i think the only one i didn't have from that wave was the final duel set and oh. the final one set I, I, remember, I had every set from that wave and that one was the one i disliked the most thanks ow um what others? I think yeah. I would have. What all sets came out? So there's a there was there's the, a bunch. I didn't get the Obi Wan's interceptor one, the combined set. Oh uh, yeah, I, I didn't got get that, that one either. Oh, so here we can. I'll name all the sets and you can tell me if you got it. Yeah. There was the ATRT. That was yeah, the smallest one. I had that one. There was the um, it was kind of like a double pack. It was it wasn't really a double pack. It was two ships though. It was the Wookiee ship and it I came with the, the droid tank. Yeah, I didn't. So have you that didn't one. have that one. I didn't have either the Wookiee sets. Oh, okay, so oh, so you didn't have the Catamaran mm-hmm. Catamaran either. No. Oh, so you didn't even have Yoda. Nope. Now, I was really excited for that set because I was like the only way I had Yoda. Um, I had had Yoda previously from that episode from that dual set. Count that's Dooku, right. Yeah, he did come in that. Um, okay, so then there was also the I guess the Mustafar set you said you did not have. There was the, did you have that Darth Vader transformation set, the first one? Um, yes. I guess that was actually the smallest set. I did have the Darth Vader transformation. I was super excited for that set. Oh, yeah. I remember being mad that he didn't have a cape. Uh, yeah, that was weird. Um, okay, so the next one, I guess, would probably be the Wheel Bike and Boga. Yep, had, had that. that. That was a great set. I played with that set so much as a child, because it was, it was just such a fun kind of chase thing to do, and I loved how, like, the Wheel Bike, you could fold the legs up and just have it roll, and the, or put the legs on and have it stand. I remember the main reason why I picked that setup was because I wanted um, a bunch of lightsabers. I wanted a bunch of lightsabers. Yeah. Um, what else came out? I feel like was it's there, just... there was a tri fighter, right? There was a tri fighter. Yeah, there was. Set. Okay. Yeah, you had the tri fighter. Yep, the original. I, remember, I got that I've one out of it, town. I've owned all ever all three tri fighters. Wow. Of all sets, that's the one I've gotten every okay. time it came <laughs> out. And did you have the uh, Anakin Jedi interceptor and the Vulture droid set? Uh, yeah. Okay, that was a great set. I love. Oh, that wait, I loved that set. I used to pretend, um, or not pretend, but I used to just set up like uh, Battlefront two battles with those because I would, I would in, in my living room in the old house that I used, my family used to live in, I would have on one couch like they were ac- across the room from each other. Yeah. So on one couch, I would set up like the uh, the 
the Separatist command ship, like their landing area, yeah. to be at the Vulture Droid, the Tri Fighter, and I had General Grievous's. Uh, um, no, I didn't have that yet. Yeah, that, that came out like two years later, so uh, I didn't have that one yet. Um, but I put the dro- the Tri Fighter and the Vulture Droid, and then I think I put something else out there because I remember a third ship, and then on the other couch I would have the Arc One Seventy and Anakin's Starfighter, and so okay, I was like yeah. making like that mock battles and for stuff. sure, for sure. So you, so you obviously had the Arc One Seventy. Then that was another set. Yep. Dude, this wave had so many sets. Like, oh my, that had like thirteen sets. Um, I think I'm trying to remember if there was anything else. So there's the Arc, and I guess you obviously had the Turbo Tank. Turbo Tank. Turbo Tank. That I presume is the what, like the last of those sets that you got. Um, I think so. Yeah. I think that's it. Are we missing any guys? Dino Dummy says, Jay, what will you do when you hit 10k subs? I'll do a backflip. <laughs> Cyan says, happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you. Oh, the Turbo Tank was definitely the best 2005 set. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's it for those sets. Yeah, it's, it's hard to keep up because there's so many, but I think that's it. But that was definitely the most, like, I was... That was like peak interest in Lego Star Wars for me around that time. As a child? As a kid, yeah. yeah. 2000, what year is that? Five? I've been 05, yeah. 05. Yeah, so did you play Lego Star Wars at this point, or you didn't play Lego Star Wars until after that? I played it after the movie came oh, out. Oh, okay. Um, so did you play the Revenge of the Sith game before the movie came out? Basically, no, was, I didn't was play the movie the spoiled games. for you? It was spoiled, but not from those games. It, what was it spoiled for? I just asked, my, my friend saw it like the day it came out, and I... I just wanted to know what happened. Wow. So I, just asked him, I was like, I mainly wanted to know. This is actually kind of funny, but I mainly wanted to know how uh, Anakin. You did. No, I wanted to know how Anakin became Darth Vader. I was like, so what happens? Oh, okay. And he told me, and then I remember thinking, being the way he described it wasn't very good. So I remember <laughs> thinking he was like, he was like, yeah, Anakin falls into like lava, but he's like holding on to the side so he doesn't burn up in the lava. In, in my mind, I pictured it being the same pit that Darth Maul got chopped in half and fell into. And I just pictured, like, Anakin with one arm hanging on the side and, <laughs> and burning the up from lava. Rising. That's what I thought was what happened. <laughs> Thanks, Dino Dummy. I am 900 years old. Rogue Runner says, The wave had Darth Vader's transformation, Clone Scott Walker, Anakin Starfighter and Vulture Droid, Grievous Chase, Wookiee Attack, Wookiee Catamaran, Turbo Tank, and Arc 170 and Tri-Fighter. So yeah, I guess we went through all the sets. Yep. What a wave. Like, could you imagine if we got that comprehensive of a wave nowadays for, like, Legos for Star Wars movies? It'd be great. It'd be set. Okay, I so would actually like to see that, like... Like a concise movie set? No, no, no. Just, like, all those sets together in one place. Oh. Because it's almost like the whole... It was pretty comprehensive, you know? Yeah. The only thing I'm honestly shocked that we have still never gotten is a set of like the episode three duel between uh, Anakin, Obi Wan, and Dooku. Like, how have we never gotten that set? I remember being disappointed because I didn't have a Dooku at that mm-hmm. point. I guess you would have, I unless you had lost Dooku. it. I don't know if I lost him at that point. <laughs> okay, um, but I remember being so disappointed. I was like, "Where's Dooku? I want to like recreate that first battle." I still have my old Dooku actually, so I never lost. Oh really? Him. Oh okay. I don't I know why. His, oh, I you lost the lightsaber. I lost his lightsaber. That's it. Okay. Garrett, did you get any Legos for your birthday? I did not, actually. Um, but it's kind of silly for anyone else to buy me Lego. Yeah. Since I can get it for half off. I got money, and I will be buying Legos with that money. It says, what do you guys think of Lego making sets smaller but cost more? Um, I feel like we've kind of discussed this. I think our general impression was there are definitely cases where it's pretty egregious. Like, what's up, Stormy? Um, the Sorry. MTT, unacceptable. Clone Turbo Tank, unacceptable. Both are obviously obvious downgrades from the previous versions. But in most cases, I feel that the size decrease has made it more accurate. And it, I don't think it's. I think what people kind of confuse is like, oh, it's smaller, but it has more pieces. But Lego is using smaller pieces on those sets, which often translates into more detail. So I don't have a problem with that. Like. Compare the first, uh, like... I mean, compare the TIE Fighters. Yeah, the TIE Fighters, the Y-Wing to the new ones. Like, there's there's the far more detail, so they're using they're generally using smaller pieces. Like, you'd be hard-pressed to find a 2x4 brick in most LEGO Star Wars sets nowadays. 
Um, but uh, I think that I'll trade, you know, sets just being big for no real reason for, you know, having that detail. Yeah, I would much rather... And, I don't know, It's to me it's more in the spirit of LEGO to have, you know, like, smaller pieces than to have, like, bigger pieces. Does yeah. that make sense? Like, back in the day, you know, in the 90s, like, people, people were so nostalgic about those old sets, but, like... They would use pieces that were, like, this big. Like, that Millennium Falcon, it just had four pieces that were all this big to make yeah. it hood. It's like... It was... I don't know. It's It doesn't even hold a candle to the way sets are designed now. Yeah. Like, there's so much more in the spirit of Lego. Oh, for sure. For sure. Benjamin says he has two of the Republic Fighter Tang. I presume you mean the most recent one? I also have two. Yeah, I have two as well. See, that one, like, it makes sense. The old one is way too big. Like, it's a pretty small tank in canon the only thing that i thought that was annoying that they didn't add was the big like t like cannon at the top or the turret rather i modded mine to have that if you haven't modded your republic fighter tank to have a turret on the top are you really a lego star wars fan um okay but on to, so that question snoop doe chad he was asking uh, favorite era of lego star wars sets and favorite era of star wars it's a twofer favorite era of star wars i mean i guess does that mean just like favorite trilogy yeah I, I'll, I'll say uh the original trilogy even though i didn't grow up with it it's you a poser it means the most to me oh yeah um but favorite generation of like lego star wars um i mean that episode three wave like we were just talking about was pretty fun like there was always there was so much to like that was on shelves at the time that i just wanted yeah exactly and like kind of being older and old enough to where I, I was at a point where I could like save up money as like a, as a kid, you know? Yeah. Because when episode two came out, it's like the only way I would get something is to ask for it for my birthday or for Christmas. Yeah, pretty much. And so I ended up not getting either the ATTE or the gunship. And it's probably my fault. I probably just didn't ask for them by Christmas time. I probably just forgot about yeah. them by then. That's the thing when you're a kid. Like, there's so many different toys. Like, yep. stuff can certainly kind of fall unremembered or unasked for. Benjamin says, the only set I'm thinking of getting now is that a Clone Jedi Battle Pack. Going to be trying a lot of alternate and multi-build ideas. That'll be interesting with that set. Um, oh, yeah. So someone asked if we've seen Infinity War. Yes, yes. we have. Um, I guess it's you think we we're, can, are we Are we prepared? I think we can talk about spoilers. All right. We can talk about Infinity War spoilers, guys. If you have not seen it, go see it and then come back and watch this video. <laughs> go see it real quick and yeah, then come back. Let's go, let's go check it out. No big deal. Um... But wow, man. Yeah, that was, that was a movie. Like, I loved that movie a lot. It was pretty great. I still want to see it again. Yeah, I, I need to go see it in IMAX. But yeah, great movie. Stark, I don't feel so good. I'm sorry. I want to wish you a very happy birthday, Garrett. Love your Corelli Mott. Thank you, Captain Phasma68. Appreciate Shout it. Shout out to Captain Phasma68. If you guys don't know who that is... He's actually working on a pretty dope Vardos mock right now, so go check his stuff out. I, he's, it's one of my favorite build series currently going on on YouTube. So oh, awesome! Yeah, show some love out. to Captain Phasma sixty eight guys. All right, so I guess that's the end of your kind of prequel journey, and obviously you saw. Clone Wars in theaters. I, I, I don't imagine that you had much anticipation for it. You know what's funny is, I went to the first time that like I I basically used it as my cover because at the time Tropic Thunder was in theaters. If anyone has seen that movie, okay, it's a rated R comedy, and yeah. I was not of age yet. I was like, I guess probably like fifteen, but my friend and I. We told our parents we were going to go see Star Wars The Clone Wars. Wow. But we actually went to go see Tropic Thunder. Because we wouldn't have been allowed to go see a rated R movie. Garrett, you're a bad seed. So I didn't watch it that first time. And then I saw it the second time. I, but I actually did end up seeing it in theaters at some point. Okay. So did you have any anticipation for this movie? No. I was like, I can't, I was like, I don't know. I, I don't remember thinking much of it. I kind of think, at the time, my, my thought process was probably like, oh, there's this little kid Star Wars movie out now. Yeah, like, I kind of felt the same way. Shout out to Emperor Benny's 11 subs from 500. That's what's up. Garrett, what all are you going to include in the Wakanda mock now that we can discuss spoilers? Oh, so, yeah. it's not going to be a super huge mock, um, but basically I want to have... No, bro, you got to make it crate-sized. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that would... That would be too big. You couldn't, like... 
unless you just had a million minifigures. Yeah. But it's going to be pretty small, but I basically just want to have, in one corner, it's going to be, like, some forest and stuff. And then kind of in the back corner is going to be a big tower. That's, like, the tower that um, Vision. Uh, Vision was in. And then... Um, and then in the front will be at the very front. I'm hoping to use some like trans blue, trans blue pieces to make part of like the big shield wall or the big dome and have it like separated in the middle and have the the outriders pouring in. Mm -hmm. But then I'll just have all the heroes doing cool stuff. And then, but in that little force in the corner is where I'm gonna have Thanos and like how all the heroes charging him. And I do I want to have one of those big Thresher wheel things. Oh yeah. I actually saw someone made a pretty decent one. Uh, like was it design. scaled? It wasn't like I, w I would make mine bigger, but I liked kind of what I liked what he was going for with his. Gotcha, so. gotcha. You pass me those trans red one by one place. Oh god, I got it. Use the force. Here's a question. Here's a here's a yeah, yeah, it question. Feels so good. Did you ever at one point as a child like believe in the force? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like I did it. Like I probably had moments, you know, kind of. Like, maybe if I just, like, focus really hard, I can move this thing. I think I had quite a few moments like that. No, I never... I was never delusional, Jay. Wow. I'm just kidding. I was having delusions of grandeur. Let's, let's get into delusions of grandeur. You're making a Wakanda mock? I'm not currently making it. It's on the list. I do want to make one at some point. It'll probably be a while though. I was beginning to wonder whether you'd gotten my message. I, I, I honestly, I might even have to wait till it comes out on DVD. I got other stuff I wanna. Like I wanna that Hello on. Kitty mock? No, 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 like that Cloud Cuckoo Land mock. I wanna do a Teen Titans Go mock before I do a any kind of you know because the DC stuff is better than yeah than Marvel anyway. So yeah, I think most people would agree with me. Dude, you know Lil Yachty is voicing um what's it Cyborg in that new movie? Wait, what? Lil Yachty is voicing Cyborg in the, in the Teen Titans, Titans Go movie. movie. Yeah, they replaced the voice actor for Cyborg. With I it? guess. Wow. I mean, this. I, I think it's not. It's all. It's an all new voice cast because the Robin sounded the same. Oh, maybe in not the trailer me. I saw. Clark Mills says seriously, Teen Titans Go. No, I'm. Gary, not you need to be more obvious with your sarcasm. I'm not making a Teen Titans Go. Don't you worry, fellas. Don't you worry. Yeah, Lil Yachty's gonna be the voice for Cyborg, I believe. That's pretty funny. Lil Yachty. Yeah, no problem, Captain Phasma. Clark says you had him worried for a second. What's wrong with doing a Teen Titans Go mock, guys? That was actually gonna be our big uh, Teen reveal. Teen Titans Go! Everyone's always asking, you know, what mock are you guys going to do next? I really wanted to do a Teen Titans Go mock. But clearly the no, desire is not out there. Alright guys, we'll do something else. Yeah, we have <laughs> that changes everything. We'll do some kind of Star Wars mock, I guess. I'm tired of doing Star Wars mocks. I want to do a Teen Titans Go mock. It's not what the people want. This is <sighs> all our viewership. Hold on, Anakin. How did this happen? We're smarter than this. I actually said that quote earlier before the stream started. We're smarter than this. Great minds think alike, the Benjamin. Did you say great minds or great minds? Great minds think alike. Look at us throwing out the zingers today. It says, what would you make if you had to make a Teen Titans Go mock? Yeah, Garrett, what would you <laughs> I make? Know. I have not watched <laughs> Teen Titans Go. Me neither. I would watch the new movie and find out, obviously. Guys, I would just make guys, Lil check Yachty. Out new Teen Titans Go movie in theaters. Featuring Lil Yachty. Starring Lil Yachty and Will Arnett as Slade, a.k.a. Who is Slade? Deathstroke. He's Deathstroke, bro. I don't know if you can't believe you don't know who Deathstroke is, dog. Wow. Deathstroke. Why are you such an elitist he's, fan? He's the Deathstroke, dude. He's the, like, he's just, he's awesome, bro. The T-Tower, right? Oh, yeah, I guess if you do a Teen Titans Go, oh, yeah, you the have tea to do the T-Tower. -tower. Okay. Fair enough. Jokes aside, that is what you would do. It's called, like, the Titan Tower, right? Or is it just called the T-Tower? Uh, you would know of all people, Garrett. I mean, I did watch the old show quite a lot. But I think I watched the old show a few times. 
I watched. I remember there was this one episode where like Cyborg was really sad because he was part robot, and he felt like he felt he because robots have limitations. Yeah, and yeah. then he ended up breaking his thing. Yeah, exactly. Was like he, when he got to hundred percent, but he, he pushed it to one hundred and ten percent. Dude, that was awesome. Titans, what a good show! Bro, guys. We need to we, do, we, we need, need to do, do that. Titans 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 Titans. You guys are sleeping on it. Featuring Lil Yachty. <laughs> we just need a red braids hairpiece. One, two. Three, okay, four, so go. back Titans. to the the life and times of Mr. Garrett Crow. Uh, so it looks like Clone Wars kind of came and went. Would you say that Clone Wars made you less of a fan? Maybe. I think my overall interest in Star Wars just was kind of, like, meh at that point. Do you think... Did you ever watch the show, like, on Cartoon Network? Like, did you ever keep up with it? Sometimes. Like, I didn't keep up with it, but if it was on, I would sit down and watch it. Okay, gotcha. And I remember actually talking to some of my friends about it and be like, wow, the show's actually pretty good. Like, we were all kind of surprised. I don't think I ever saw a single episode of the show when it was on TV. I I definitely saw a couple, mainly early on ones. Uh, I remember specifically that one where Hard Case blows himself up. Is it Hard Case or Heavy? I think it's heavy. And he's in that, like, room with the other clones, and he holds off a bunch of droids and then hits a bomb and blows it up. Oh, you're talking about the arc it's where... really early on. They're, like, the... They're, like, at this installation, yeah. and they're like, like oh, it's... nothing ever happens yeah. here. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's the one with, like, the, uh, the droids who dress up like clones. Yeah. That was such a... That was silly. <laughs> that was very silly. I, I remember seeing that episode when I was, uh, like, on TV. But that was... Probably like the only one. He says heavy is the one. Yeah, I actually watched that episode recently. Um, that's one of like the first episodes, I think. Rest in peace, heavy. It was a good episode though, because um, Rex and Cody are both in it. They both show yeah. up. Rogue Runner says the Darth Maul Mandalore arc surprised me. That was arguably the best of them all. So which one? The Darth Maul. Uh, Mandalore arc. Oh, the, like, the whole Mandalore Civil War. Yeah. The fact that he beheads pre Vistula was pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't like that he killed Satine. That made me a sad boy. Ah, whatever. I didn't really care for her much. Dude, that was Obi-Wan's love interest. You felt his pain. Mm. I guess. You just have no heart. Bam, 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 bam. Someone says Dank, Dank Mall was so amazing. Dank Mall. Yeah, we, um, I guess we both have Discords now. You should post your Discord if you, if you want that to be a thing. Um, if not, I didn't even make my Discord. I didn't make mine either, to be honest. Uh, but the Discord link will pop up. I think, uh, Nightbot will post it eventually. So, if you hang around, it'll show up. It says, what about the Umbara Mark, Ma- Ark? I said Mark. That's one of my favorite arcs. That's the Pron Crow one, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites as well. Very good. Um, okay. So, uh, let's say Clone Wars is kind of past. This, these are the dark times. These are the dark, dark ages. Uh, the Disney buyout, I guess? Yeah, that, I guess that would have been... The next time Star Wars is really relevant to people who are in the Dark Ages. Yeah. Um, did you? Do you? Where did? Where were you when you got the news? I re- I don't remember. I just remember hearing about it and being like, oh okay. And then being and then being like okay and then being pretty excited that it was gonna be we we're gonna be getting new Star Wars movies. Like, did you hate George Lucas at this point? Well, I, I don't. Maybe maybe you don't hate George Lucas, but were you like anti George Lucas at this point? Yes. Okay. This was I was old enough to where the prequels were bad. Okay. <laughs> George Lucas basically tainted Star Wars, and was dragging it down, and not doing anything with it. Okay. So, I was, I probably not as strongly as I feel now, but. Like even back then, I was saying like this is a good thing for Star Wars. Yeah. It's gonna be alive again. I don't, I don't think I had like a strong George Lucas opinion at that point, but I do remember being like, oh, I'm excited for new Star Wars movies. Um, I was like, oh, you know, Disney's done a good job with the superhero movies, so like, you know, Star Wars will probably get that same treatment. 
But I, I do remember thinking when they announced that it was going to be episode seven, I remember thinking like, eh, I don't care for that. I wish that they would do like something completely different. Really? Yeah. I was so excited that it was gonna, the story would continue. I mean, once I saw the first teaser and you like saw Han Solo at the end of it, or not even that, the first teaser before that, I was like on board. I was like, oh, okay, sweet. But like when it was first, first announced, I was like, oh, I kind of wish that they did, would do like an older public or like do something completely different. I remember like... I, when I, like, the Han Solo thing was never a big deal to me. Like, as someone who kind Han of grew up exclusively up? during, Bro. like, as, you have to understand, like, up until this point, I wasn't, I'd never given, like, the intro, the, uh, the original trilogy any deep thought. Like, I, like, I, I don't think at that point I would have definitively said, oh, the original trilogy is better. It would have just kind of been whatever to me. Um, Thanks, JJ Lego Designs. Uh, but, so, like, when I saw the, the Han Solo appearance in the trailer, like, it was cool, but it, I don't think it, it hit me like a lot of people. Like, I don't, he wasn't, like, the first Star Wars character I loved, you know? It was just, it was cool, but it wasn't, it wasn't a huge deal. This is so just, Um, I think so I've cool. kind of came to appreciate him in, like, when I started getting back into it. Right. And that was like I was. I remember showing. Uh, um, I don't know who I was showing it, but I was like, I was showing that trailer, and in the end, I was like, it's Han Solo. I don't know. I was very excited. Han Solo. Clark Han says he trusts Solo. Dave Filoni. He I don't trust that Dave he Filoni. He is really cool. Han Solo. Han Solo. Chewbacca thinks that he's a fool. Yeah. Here we're gonna extend this. This is no longer a uh, prequel bashing stream. This is a. This is a Dave Filoni bashing stream. Yeah, let's talk about let's talk about Mr. Dave Filoni. No, we'll, we'll get into that. This is the life and times of Garrett Crow. And yeah, we have a bunch of two by four bricks in various colors. What's up, kid? The Tigs. Kid the Tigs. Um. Okay. So Disney buyout happens. I feel like the buyout kind of happened, and then for it the next, quiet for yeah, a while. it was quiet for a while. Until well, the wiping of the EU, dropped. I was so happy with. I was like, thank you. I was happy about that too. Like, I was, I didn't know a bunch about it, but I just knew like it was so muddled, you know. It was and just I was, a joke. Yeah, you know? like no one took it seriously. No offense to anyone who likes it. To actually, who, <laughs> who actually purchased books? I read some of them, but overall they were just not good. Um. But dude, I remember being so hyped after the thing that the thing that got me hyped. It wasn't it was that first trailer got me kind of hyped, but I feel like you didn't see a ton of stuff in it. It was mm-hmm. just kind of a culmination of scenes. But what really got me hyped was that first uh, be. It was like I think it was a Comic Con reel. It was like a kind of behind the scenes thing that they did for the Force Awakens. Yeah, and I remember I was like about to go to a party and that dropped, and I remember just like I was getting ready in my bathroom. And, like, I got a notification, and I just remember sitting there and just watching it on my phone and just being like, oh, my God, like, this is really happening. This is... We're getting real Star Wars again. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, let's talk about... Let's talk about Episode 7 hype. We can discuss... I was extremely excited for this movie. Dude. Most excited I've ever been for... Ever been for... Any movie ever. I'd say anything. Like, the hype for episode seven was just unreal because it was, it had just been so long since we had gotten a Star Wars movie. Um, it was just, uh, like, I can't even, words can't even describe how. No, it was, it was insane. And mind I, blowing it was. I remember when I went to finally, like, that day, I watched, I was actually kind of under the weather. Shockingly. Shockingly. Yeah. Um, but I remember, like, we I, I watched the entire original trilogy, and then went and saw episode seven. We had like an eleven o'clock showing. Oh. I had like a whole group of people I was going with. Yeah. Um, my brother, my sister, my brother's friend, my girlfriend at the time, and then her sister. And wow. Me. And I had I had I had booked the tickets way in advance. Like the first day you could buy tickets, I bought them all. I got the Same. perfect seats, all right in the middle of the theater, at my preferred theater of choice, with reclining seats and walls between the rows, so no one can kick your kick your seat. 
almost just broke my no cursing on the stream street. <laughs> Bro, no hex or fricks. No hex or fricks. Um, but I was so excited. I remember, like, once the movie started, like, I just smiled and couldn't stop smiling. I was yeah. like, I'm here. Like, oh, this yeah. movie is happening. I'm Like, this is Star Wars again. The thing... Uh, so, so I can talk about kind of where my hype was when the movie first came out. So I got I bought my tickets the first time it like I guess was released for you to be able to purchase tickets, but um, they didn't have reserved seats at the theater. And I was in uh, Michigan when it came out, so like this was the closest the like the next closest theater was probably like an hour away. Mm. So this is pretty much our only option. Which meant that we had to get to the theater super early. So I think our showing was for seven o'clock. We got to the theater at like two thirty, and there were like a lot of people there. We got good seats, but there were a lot of people there. Yeah, at two thirty. Yeah, two thirty. Oh, I remember just sitting in the theater man. and just being like, like I, I got to the theater. I put in my headphones and I just blasted music because I didn't want any spoilers. Like I had come this far, and I was not gonna let someone like in the theater before the movie blurt something out so i was just blasting music just waiting Dang. and also there was like the theater made a really big deal about it they had like um i didn't really see this when i got there because it was still pretty early but like when we walked out like there was obviously a lot of people there but also they had done like um a bunch of star wars type stuff like they were apparently doing like tri uh, trivia in the lobby and they were also had like people dressed up like Jedi who were kind of reenacting battles, mm -hmm. which I thought was pretty cool. So I got to see some of that as well. But that, like, that day, I took, I had exams. I remember I had, like, woke up that morning, and I was like, oh my god, it's Star Wars Day. And I just remember being in the shower, I was like, oh my god, it's Star Wars Day. And then I was, like, w working on an exam, and I was like, I just want to finish yeah. so I can go watch Star Wars. <laughs> No, I was I was very happy. I was done with exams at that point. Oh, okay. And I just had that whole day off, and I just, ah, oh, it was it was magic. It was pure magic. I was like, so the first day I saw it, I only went with like one of my friends who was there, but I saw it the next day as well. I saw it the first night, and I saw it the very next night. Uh, I wasn't even planning on doing that, but I had like a couple of friends who were going together, and they had a big group, and that was really exciting for me because I'd already seen the movie, so the pressure was kind of off, but they hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. So, like, I kind of got to see their reactions to everything, and it was really cool just, you know, seeing them kind of be like, oh, Kylo Ren is so cool. Like, do you remember when he did this? You know, just kind of mm -hmm. seeing that unfold with a group of guys. Uh, there was a girl, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was, like, someone's girlfriend. But, uh... Oh, well, yeah. I think girls actually go see Star Wars movies? Come on. <laughs> What's up, Yellow Wars production? But yeah, dude, I remember, I remember what really, what really just made me feel like like this is different was when Poe and Finn escape on the Tie Fighter and just like the excitement and how like how they just seem to genuinely enjoy each other's presence. Like that's what really got me to be like, this is different. Like this is exciting Star Wars. This isn't boring monotone Star Wars. This isn't. You know, just stoic Star Wars. This is, like, genuine emotion stuff. Well, I was so, just, I was almost taken aback with how, like, close it was to feeling like the original trilogy. Yes! You know what really got me? Um, I actually saw this before the movie came out, but they, uh, like, showed that clip of Rey and Finn running from the TIE Fighter chasing them, mm -hmm. and, um... It's basically the part where she, they're like, uh, oh, like, we need to fly. She's like, oh, let's use the quad jumper. And she's like, he's like, we need a pilot. And she's like, we've got one. And he's like, you? And then he's like, what about that ship? And she's like, that one's garbage. And I remember reading in the comment section, like, oh, they're talking about the Millennium Falcon. I was like, huh, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> and then it happened. I was like, I really wish I wouldn't have read that. Like, I would have preferred to have gotten that reveal in the theater. But, um... You know, it is what it is. But no, that's what really got me to just be like, wow, like, it's it feels like an actual adventure. It isn't... I'm not just, like, looking at things unfold. It's like, I'm actually... Like, it's actually occurring while I'm... I don't know. I don't, just, feel, I don't feel... It doesn't feel like an obligation to watch this movie. <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt. Like, for a while, I'd almost been embarrassed to be a Star Wars fan. I wouldn't go that far. But yeah, it was great. I guess that's more or less caught up. And Rogue One, I was pretty excited for and saw it and enjoyed it. And Episode 8, 
I was pretty. Ex- I was. Ex- I was more excited for Episode Eight than Rogue One, but not nearly on the level of Force Awakens. I, I doubt mean, any Star Wars movie will ever beat my excitement for the Force Awakens. I feel like the trailer for Episode Nine will have to just be godly for me to reach TFA levels of hype. Yeah. I mean that first like teaser trailer for the Last Jedi was pretty good. So. Like, oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. They know what they do. Benjamin says, I will probably see Solo a Star Wars story just because everyone else in my family is going to see it and I don't have to pay for tickets. Wow. Clark Mills says, now bash Filoni because I'm curious. Oh boy. Where do, you, where do we even begin? I mean, we talked about this a little bit on one of the past streams where we were discussing Star Wars Rebels, but I just, my main issue with him is just that now both shows, The Clone Wars, and I was willing to cut him a lot of slack for The Clone Wars because one... I can I can assume that George Lucas interference is going to be a lot of... I was going to say, yeah, he was very under the thumb of George Lucas with that. So I, I can't... I don't know who to lay the blame at because George Lucas is such a weirdo and has already tainted Star Wars, so... but uh, And then also because after the Disney buyout, the Clone Wars TV show was canceled, obviously, because they right. couldn't afford to do it anymore. So... Um... Um... You cut him some slack there. Yes, I cut him some slack. But where I don't cut him some slack is now that the same issues I had with the Clone Wars, which was like tonal inconsistencies and just wildly just differing levels of quality in terms of the storytelling yeah. and everything, and and the overall plot just being all over the place. Which for the Clone Wars was okay because there wasn't an overarching plot. It was just like here's a bunch of stories taking place during the Clone Wars. Exactly, okay. and there were a lot of contained arcs for that yes. reason, so they could. Each thing could kind of hold itself up because you got to see more unfold. Yes, but there were so many things when, the, like I saw, I watched an episode and I'm just like, I could have just skipped this and it would have made no difference. Yeah, and how I feel about this show. But um, so with Rebels, it's like uh, it's just the same problems. They were just compounded. Like I feel like some like lack of focus and just all over the place. No story. Like the story just doesn't seem to ever go anywhere and yeah like it, it feels like they they keep getting so close to something mm-hmm. you know something heavy something meaningful and then it just all oh, goes away clark mill says all tv shows have filler though right but not to the ex- good tv shows don't have filler yeah i'll give you that like it, it will like even if it's like filler where you know it's it's not relevant at the moment it still will have some significance down the line, maybe. Like, if it's not immediately obvious, it will at some point mean something. Or you have TV shows like Breaking Bad that would have what you would call, maybe you would call filler episodes. But they were, like, in, like episodes that were pretty self-contained, but they were still, they still enjoyable. They built characters. And it was part, yeah, it built the characters up, and it, like, it felt like, it still felt like part of an overall, like, an ongoing plot. But, like, so Rebels it, has nothing like that. The filler just feels so, like, like, what's the point? The other problem with Rebels filler was that I feel they never, they didn't build up the main story enough to where they could have filler. Yeah, and the have whole show felt like something. filler. Yeah, exactly. It, I never got to the point where I'm like, okay, like, this is the point of this. This is where, like, we're actually trying to fight towards something. I actually which really I feel, like the fly episode of Breaking Bad, the Elite Gladiator, so. Oh, that was a good episode. I felt like there was no episode of Breaking Bad where I was like, oh, that was bad. I didn't enjoy it. Oh, that. yeah, no. I got something out of every episode. Every episode was pretty much perfect, in my opinion. No, the Clone Wars filler I was more okay with because the nature of the Clone Wars was basically all these just self-contained stories. Right, yeah. To me, the more the ba- the worst parts of Rebel of Clone Wars was just a lot of those episodes just weren't very good. The Rebel Rebels though, like I would like someone in the chat, I would challenge them to like what is the overall plot of Rebels? Yeah, like <laughs> explain the plot of Rebels. And third says, I think people forget to compare Rebels and Clone Wars to other children's TV. In that regard, they're incredible. See, that's the thing. Sometimes it is children's TV, and other times it is very much so not children's TV. That's why I was saying like, that's not how That's not how they themselves treat it. They don't treat it as if it's just this child's TV show through and through. Like I would not Rebels describe can the get, Clone Wars as a child's TV show. Yeah, no, like, Clone Wars and Rebels both get very deep, like... There's that freaking... Like, the Pond Krell arc is not something you would see in a children's TV no. show. The amount of murder that happens in the Clone Wars... Like, people get stabbed and murdered and betrayed and... Yeah. Like, there's an episode in the Clone Wars where people get, like, get stabbed with a knife that then explodes. Yeah. Like, there's violent things. And that 
when and that's fine to have a TV show that's aimed at like older kids, like teenagers to young adults that are Star Wars fans. It's right. the, that's the right age group. And it's also fine to have a TV show that's maybe aimed at a younger demographic. Forces of Destiny. Yeah, Forces of Destiny, or like, because you basically have Forces of Destiny, which is like younger, younger people, mainly like girls, and then Rebels, kind of a step above that, where it, but it, what Rebels is more trying to be like an actual Star Wars movie where it can appeal to kids and adults. Right. And then you have the Clone Wars, which is like kids can enjoy it, but it's really aimed at like older kids, teenagers, and adults. Right. Exactly. My problem is when you're not totally consistent either way. Like, Rebels is all over the place. Clone Wars is all over the place. Like, it just, it feels inconsistent. Like, you go some episodes where, like, I remember early episodes of Rebels, they were talking about, like, oh, these Rebels, they don't kill anyone. They just knock out the Stormtroopers. But then there's also episodes where the Rebels are blowing up TIE Fighters. Yeah, like, exactly. Those people are definitely dead in those TIE Fighters. Yeah, no. You can't have it both I ways. feel like towards the beginning, they don't really, like, kill the Stormtroopers. And then, I think around, like, season two, when uh, Ezra gets his green lightsaber... He's, like, doing all these crazy tricks and, like, slicing, yeah, slicing people up. Yeah, Stormtroopers. Like, at some point, they just realized, like, we can't have a Star Wars movie where they're not killing Stormtroopers. Benjamin says, please don't bring up the abomination that called Forces of Destiny. How is Forces s- of Destiny an abomination? I've never seen any episodes, so I really can't even comment on it. They got the voice actors, like, for all the actual actors. Yeah, they did. Which is but cool. that's actually pretty cool. Marty says he is at work. All right, appreciate that, man. Like, thanks for stopping by. Says, what did you think of Thrawn and Rebels? I actually did not like Thrawn at all in Rebels. I feel like they built him up to be this really like cerebral guy, and he just gets doofed every time. Like, oh, I will let them escape this time, but the Rebels this time will not. I will look at, <laughs> I will look at their artwork, and they will not get away this time. Oh, the, the Rebels. They have... The young Ezra Bridger. He has gotten away this time, but. But it's okay, I meant It's okay, that. yeah. <laughs> I totally meant... I think <laughs> Thrawn is that guy at work. Everyone thinks he's very intelligent, but he's just, like, He's kind a of... pseudo-intellectual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he just makes stuff about art because no one else cares enough. Exactly, they just assume he's very They're sophisticated. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, I don't care about the art, oh, so he... I'll just take his word yeah, for he, it. Yeah, he's so deep. He got goofed. He did get goofed. Every turn... So I'm really hoping that resist. My main hope with resistance is that it's focused. I want main character. I want a cast of main characters. I want an overall goal that they're trying to reach. Yes, have a do something. And here's another thing. Here's another great kids show that I would like that I compare Clone Wars and Rebels to. I know where this is going. Avatar: The Last Airbender. Boom. This is a show. Ran for three seasons. That from the beginning you knew where this had to end. There was a goal in mind. There was filler episodes, quote unquote, but they were not, it was episodes that didn't go to the main plot, but you cared about the characters enough and it grew the characters. There was never an episode that felt pointless, but in the end, it's like, you, you can describe the plot of that show. You're right. like, this is a overarching plot. There are things going on. With Rebels, it's like, okay, well, here's the plot for season one, but then by season two, it's kind of different, and then, oh, there's this temple here, and then Darth Vader's there, but, oh, Darth Vader's not there anymore, and yeah. we gotta get Lothal, we gotta, oh, now there's this radio guy we gotta get, we gotta save Lothal, oh, we're gonna leave Lothal for a while, we're on a different yeah. planet making a rebel base, oh, we're getting the rebel alliance together, Mon Mothma's showing up, oh, look, at Saw Gerrera, oh, the alliance, nah, never mind. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna go back to Lothal, I don't know, it's just all over the place. The, the funniest thing about, it honestly seems like Dave Filoni didn't know that like there was only one more season left for Rebels and he was just kind of like eh maybe we can just end on with all <laughs> what's up General Hux Avatar The Last Airbender was the best it was the best Resistance will definitely be canon Every, ever, all the new shows they're making going forward are going to be canon which I appreciate there's no need to have things that aren't canon at this point unless, like for a show if you're going to put that level of effort into it just make it canon he says, I think the worst Rebels Thrawn moment for me was when he randomly fires his blaster on the attacking Defender. <laughs> hey, Thrawn is so cool. He can take down a Defender with his blaster. I think the best... So, the the best Thrawn moment for me was when he pulls all those uh, Star Destroyers up to... What living planet was that? Where that Basically, the main Rebel base that they had throughout um, where the Bendu was. Mm-hmm. What, I don't remember what planet was that. I don't remember. But anyway, I think I th- that was my favorite Thrawn moment. Like that was just so badass the way he like 
That's I really felt the tension in that scene. I, I'm really the Thrawn was the best Thrawn stuff was on the earlier things. Yeah. Um, he, I think he definitely overstayed his welcome was the main issue. Like, at a certain point, he just wasn't doing anything anymore. He and says, he Adelon, I guess. I think it doesn't sound familiar, but I'll take your word for it. Um, yeah, that was, I, that was where I thought the best Thrawn was, but I did not care for the Bendu at all. I don't care for Loth Wolves. Like, the Bendu. I just feel like it's also fake deep. Like, yeah. it just... It just means nothing. Like, Lothals weren't important. Like, they were just... I don't know. I didn't care for it. <laughs> it's just, like, it's literally just in there because he likes wolves, which is silly. Dave Filoni's a weeaboo. <laughs> he is. Confirmed. Says, did you read the Thrawn book? No. I don't read no books. We didn't come here to play books. We came here to play Lego. I'm a Star Wars fan. I like to watch lightsabers and guns and starships. I don't read no no words. I like Callus. I liked pretty much all the characters on Rebels, really. I love the Callus and um, Zeb. Zeb. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was Zeb. A really Zeb. Good. Zeb Seneska. No, Zeb Aurelius. Gera Zeb. It says Thrawn was good in the book, though. Yeah, but we're talking about. Dave Filoni. This, like this people, all branches back to Dave Filoni. That's like people I saw whenever people justify the like defend the prequels by bringing up like the Clone, Clone Wars, Wars yeah. and like novels and comics and stuff. I'm like, no, no, that doesn't count. No, I ain't read no books. No. That's also why, like you know, even with the newer movies, some of the explanations that they may should have had in the movies, like some of the political stuff. They sh they did cover them in books like the, what's that Leia book Bloodlines yeah I would say the same things I was like well it's, it's not crucial information though like you don't have to I'll be right back well yeah but I'm saying if you were to criticize those movies for that I would I would give them, oh yeah you'd be like yeah exactly I would give them the same taste as the prequels gotcha. just so no one calling me out as biased against the prequels come on guys you know me better than that Welcome Dave Faloni. The mountain looks so fantastic, it blows me away. Well, thank you, guys. This is going to take forever. Hopefully, y'all can see some of it. I'll try to tilt it. Up. I know. This is like a tenth of the way done. Not even. It's at least a tenth. There's a lot. Like, General Hawk says, Bloodline was a great book. I loved Bloodline. The Benjamin says, the prequels had clone war troopers and Jedi and lightsabers. Hey, I loved all that stuff as a kid, so. Garrett likes the holiday special out of everything Star Wars related. That's actually my number one. I put it over Empire Strikes Back. That makes sense. Anthrod says, I kind of agree with your view on Loth Wolves. Loth cats, however, are amazing and you can't make me change my mind. <laughs> I don't mind Loth cats. I can understand Loth cats. Loth cats are cute. They're uh, like porgs. They're really funny looking. They're not funny looking, they're cute. Loth cats, they look pretty goofy. Dude, loth cats are cute. And I like them for that. I like the goofy little Star Wars creatures. You know what's my favorite Star Wars creature? I don't know the name of it, but the one that's like banging its head on the rock in uh, The Force Awakens. Yeah. The dun, like dun, pelican looking dun, thing. Dun, dun, dun. That one? Yes. I'm sure Inthert will know the name of it because Inthert. Inthert knows everything. Says, do you read Star Wars comics? They bridge between death and inability to concentrate on books. Uh, no. Who's that villain in, in uh, Iron Man Two with the bird? My bird. Um, I don't know. My Elect bird. Electric whips, man. My bird. Tony Stark was like racing a car in that movie, wasn't he? Yeah. Because Tony Stark was all, he was like basically at that point. Celebrity. Yeah, and he was like living life. Gotcha. Like he goes and races in that race. And but he has the suitcase Iron Man suit that he puts on. Oh, yeah. Cool. 
I want my boob. <laughs> oh yeah, the animal that went dirt, 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 dirt on a rock. That's called the garret. Wow. Wow. I don't know. I can't tell if you're insulting me or not. I can't wait to see Infinity War this Saturday. Have you not seen it yet? I'm sorry if you saw it. We actually didn't. We talked about it briefly, but we didn't spoil anything, I guess. Which is good. You don't want to be spoiled and stuff. For the peeps that haven't seen it yet. Steel Peckers. Is that really what the name is? Steel Peckers? Reminds me of that thing. It's like a woodpecker with a steel pecker. This definitely didn't look that up. Wait, what thing did I post? It's not appropriate for the stream. <laughs> the one the like last Something night. Something I posted? In the Boogaloo chat. You posted a meme. The Marvel the Marvel one. I don't remember. Did I post it? I thought it was you. I don't think so. We'll we'll discuss this later. Disc dis give me a general description. Give me an age appropriate description. I, I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Back to what's really important here. Discussing Dave Filoni. No, I, I'm willing to, like, I. he's clearly a Star Wars fan. And he's been a veteran at this for a while now. So I'm willing to, I'm, and I'm not going to, like, boycott Resistance or anything like that. But I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. I posted it in the group. I don't. It might not have been you if you don't remember it. But it was a really out there connection with what was said. I wasn't. This is interesting enough for me to want to look it up. It's not in the main Google chat. It's in the other one. It's in the chat, not. Oh, okay. Suitcase was nothing compared to the Infinity War suit. Yeah, that suit in Infinity War was cash money. Definite cash. It's an Infinity War meme? The Marvel meme. You already go back up. This? No. I was like, that didn't look inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> okay. You did post that, right? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> All right, I got you. Okay. I got you. <laughs> Okay. That's what they were saying, the solid beak, I think, or something, whatever. Oh, something yeah, the, the steel peckers. Steel peckers. Yeah. That's, that's what made me think of that. But Thanos snapped his fingers and he himself disappeared. That's actually what I thought happened. That's what I thought, yeah. Like, I thought him, like, like he, like, snapped himself out of existence. And he, yeah. And he was there with, like, baby Gamora. That's what I thought. Rest in peace, Gamora. Oh. Spoilers. It says, Jay thought the meme archive was incomplete. <laughs> I guess I'm one ways different than the other time, man. Mammoly. Have you guys ever thought of streaming on Twitch or something so the comments match up better? What do you mean? Like, there's no delay? I don't think our delay is too bad now. What's going on, Jay? What are you guys talking about? We were talking about Infinity War. And Steel Peckers, apparently. <laughs> that was... That was really funny whenever I first saw that. Yeah, I thought that was great. <laughs> oh, what? Ugh. You gonna talk about all the uh, upcoming summer Star Wars sets? Yeah, we can do that. So, if we don't have Lego Star Wars talk anymore, guys, type an F in the chat for Lego Star Wars talk. No. It's coming back. It'll be back. And in greater numbers. Just wait. Most podcasts travel um, in groups. Our podcast travels in single file to hide our numbers. <laughs> what are your opinions about solo? Solo. I'm excited for it. I'm ready to see Beast of Star Wars. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. 
I want my board. I'm on board with it now, you know? Like, I'm with, I was with most people, like, uh, it's a Han Solo movie, like, is this what we, is this what we as Star Wars fans want, blah, 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 but, you know what? I feel like it's less of, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm so much less interested in, like, oh, finding out more about Solo, and just more about just seeing Star Wars stuff. Oh, yeah, no, this is, I'm not excited for the movie for Han Solo. Oh, I am excited to see Chewie and Han Solo together, like, in a different stage of their lives. Having... Like I want to see their solo fr- moments. I want to see their friendship like develop. Yeah, but other than that, like I just want to see like, you know, I want to see Corellia on on the screen. That'd be really cool. Like yeah. this planet we've always heard of and it's always been around in the lore and stuff. You think everyone's gonna walk around with a red stripe on their pants? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Corellian style. Got your tickets for opening day? Yeah, Jalen and I are gonna be seeing it opening day. We'll be. Uh, it's coming out the same day that the first day of setup for Comic Palooza is, which is at the end of this month that we're going to. We're bringing Crate there, so that's going to be quite the day. We'll see how that works. Did you know that apparently the world premiere for Solo is this weekend? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so wow. there will be spoilers out there. I really, I, I don't care for about Solos for this movie. I mean, spoilers for this movie. What if something? Cra- what if Han Solo dies and a clone takes over for him? Then I would know that I'm not a Star Wars fan anymore, and I can just. Watch, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It. it doesn't matter at that point. <laughs> it says it's today. Is a world premiere today? Austin, you got me a birthday present. Wow. Thank you. I don't know when I'm gonna get it from you. No problem, Galactic Bricks. Entered says it's not the film Gotham wants, but the one it deserves. Is Solo the, the film we deserve? It's the one it needs right now. Do you think it's possible this movie ruins a Han Solo character for you if it's that awful? No. Okay. I mean, the prequels didn't ruin the characters of Obi-Wan for me. That's true. And Obi-Wan has seen much more in those movies than he yeah. has in episode four, so... Well, thank you, Austin. It's the thought that counts. The thought... Everyone in the chat, guess what Austin got me for my birthday, and I'll tell y'all if it's correct whenever it comes. It better start with leg and end with O. Otherwise, you can miss me with that. Miss me with that fake stuff. We deserve Kenobi. Is everyone... Who in the chat wants a Kenobi movie? be curious to see the numbers for that they just want to see a not doofus Ian McGregor they want to see Ian McGregor not held Ewan McGregor not held back by George Lucas that's it would just I feel like it would be such a drastically different character that it would be kind of jarring like it would not it would obviously not be the prequel style Kenobi We got one nope, a bunch of yeses. Austin Ash got your World Conference Finals tickets. That would be quite the present. That would Western be Conference. Western Conference Finals. That would be great. I do not <laughs> look at it that much. Wow. I don't know, honestly, I think his character has had his story told already. I mean, I feel like that's the case with most of these people. But yeah, I'm kind of with Inthrip on that one. It's just like... Especially on... I feel like we've seen so much of Tatooine. I don't need to see more of Tatooine. Yeah. Tatooine is the most visited planet in all of Star Wars. For sure. Benjamin says, what if Cody is the main villain in the Obi-Wan movie? That would be amazing. That would actually... I would, I would love to see that. <laughs> Cody... Like, Cody versus Obi-Wan sent- grudge match. Oh my god. He's oh, like, looks like Seth Dunley has a birthday today as well. Happy birthday, wow. Seth. Wow. Happy birthday, man. I'm glad you just now came in and you didn't come in earlier. <laughs> it would not have been a good birthday for you. There was some, uh, what do you call it, prequel bashing going on. There were some wipeouts. It was really more Dave Filoni bashing than anything. Austin's asking, wait, cool. is there an Obi-Wan movie? No, there's been rumors of one for a while, and it seems to be the fan one that everyone the fan wants. fan save. But I don't really... 
I want more Jeddah or Kashyyyk. I want more not things we've seen. <laughs> so I want new stuff. If I had to pick one, if I had to pick one planet that I wanted them to revisit, I would honestly, I would take any, I would take the revisiting any prequel exclusive planet just to see it look good. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Says, I think they need to do more of Rise of the Empire because the original trilogy Empire is so much better than the First Order. I would, I'm, I think, just from what you see them do, I think the First Order is actually much better than the Empire. Like they're far more menacing, like they're far more threatening. I think, like, you know, nothing's gonna touch Vader. Well, nothing's gonna touch the Emperor. But in terms of just like what you see both factions do, I think I'm I'm taking the first order. Like when the first order shows up, you know like bad stuff is happening. Whenever the Empire shows up, you have like optimism, you know? Like, oh let, let's see how they get out of this. Because what if they made short films telling short stories about characters we love? That would I, that wouldn't feel like Star Wars to me. Star Wars isn't short films, you know, it's yeah, Star Wars need to be needs to be big epic movies. Star Wars is also, I've always felt Star Wars is more about character interactions than just single characters. So I don't know how how much a short film for Star Wars would do. I mean, really. they could do like character focused movies and stuff. I definitely want them to see like I want to see new things, but like short movies and stuff. It's like the same reason I can't get excited as much for like a Star Wars TV show that I can for a Star Wars movie. It's rumored they're going to do two Star Wars movies every year after 9 is out. That would be... That sounds depressing. That would be unfortunate. I wouldn't really want that. I feel like that just means we're going to start getting is random the two by four stuff. plate in there? Uh, there's no, well, it's basically in there. Oh, okay. okay Obi Wan's ship is getting crushed over here. No. Flee, okay. little one. What's smarter than this? I'm sorry, little one. I want to see a Star Wars movie about what happened with Obi Wan's ship on Geonosis. <laughs> Did he ever go back to get it? Maybe that would happen in the Obi Wan movie. He would be like, "I really miss that Starfire and R four P seven. I guess. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Someone's gonna have to explain this to me. So obviously, R four is in Episode um, three, but he's his head is attached to the ship that Obi Wan leaves on Geonosis. There has to be some in canon explanation for that. Someone explain that to me. Why is R four like? Did they just build another R four? Can they just? Did they just? I bet do they have like every droid's personality in like a vault, and if they need to like recreate it, they just program it into a. I don't know, but I obviously wouldn't have their memories. So. I need my droid. I want my droid. I want. Benjamin says they cloned R4. <laughs> <laughs> they cloned him on Kamino. He says, yeah, it's different. But they're both still R4 P17. Somebody better come with some answers, or I'm tweeting. What's his name? Pablo Hidalgo. Yo, Pobs. Pobs, I need some. I need some answers. You got some splaining to do. It says Camino Droid Factory. It says R four is a droid. You can totally clone its software. Yeah, they just have a data. They just have, they a, have database. a database with droid personalities. So if a droid is ever destroyed, don't worry. They can just download another one. So R two is saved to the cloud somewhere. Yeah. That is some poop. And that's actually, that, that can work too because they could like transmit their memories to a cloud as well. That way, if it gets destroyed, they could basically just pick right back up. They have save points. Yep. Lego Therapy says, Happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you. 
It says they probably just went back to Geonosis after the battle to pick R4 up. But R4 wasn't a, like, a, okay. So I don't know if this is, someone can tell me this. So my impression is in canon, R4 is not a full droid at this point. He's just a head, like, in the ship. But in episode... Is that canon? I don't know. I think it is. I don't I would have always assumed they just were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't worry about it, guys. So, guys, we need some answers. We need some freaking answers. This is going to keep me up at all, all, all night long. So it's true, the episode two fighters can't hold a full droid. Yeah, so R4 is R four is not a full droid. R4 is just a head. Yeah, so someone just went and grabbed the head. They just... Punk. <laughs> they got a... It basically, like, did what happened in episode uh, three when his head gets cut off Ernie, by the buzz droid. Ernie Slam Jam says that R4 is Snoke. That could be true. It was all an elaborate scheme. He wanted to revenge on Obi Wan. Dude, this is some... because of Obi Wan. I feel like we've really converged on something important here, guys. How did R four P seventeen make it from Episode two to Episode three? And if his head is still floating out there somewhere in Episode three over Coruscant, can't they just go get his head and reprogram it? Someone needs to go get him. He's just been out there this whole time. Enter says apparently R four revived a full body, or I'm assuming received a full body upgrade at the start of the war. But how did did they go and get his head back? They left the ship there. Maybe someone did go and get the ship. I think it was in Rogue Squadron three. You play as Wedge and you go to the planet Geonosis and you end up using uh, Obi Wan's ship because it's, it's still there. Oh my god. And you fight a guy that's piloting a uh, Republic gunship. Says I think the canon explanation is that R four went back to Coruscant after Obi Wan was attacked. But how would he go? He's a could, so I guess if he's a head connected to the ship, could he, Can he just pilot the, the ship? ship? Probably. That would be so freaky. Like Obi Wan's ship shows back up. <laughs> Episode two, he was just a head connected to a ship. Episode three, he is a full droid. Yeah. So maybe he just flew... But if that were the case, then why couldn't he go get help? Like, why did... Something about it. <laughs> That's the same... It doesn't matter. That's my same justification for anything with the original trilogy. I will extend that just, grace... Just, just don't think about it. ...to the prequel. It makes sense if you don't think just about don't, it. Just don't think about it. It's not important. Clark Mills says R4G9 replaced him. So, R4G9 is in episode 3. It says, R4 flies the Tatooine. Dad, I found you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. If that was the movie, like, like the movie starts with, like, just a ship flying in space, and then they zoom in, and there's no pilot. <laughs> but it's just R4. Yeah, and he's, looking, he's in traveling the various planets looking for Obi-Wan. He's looking for his dad. No. Oh. So someone's so apparently R four G nine is the droid in episode three. Let's see. I'm gonna do some Googles. I'm gonna fact check. No, R four G nine is the one in the blue uh, ship. We still need some guys. We need to figure out what the heck happened to R four P seventeen. Well, we don't. What, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. This frustrates me so much. General Hux says, happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you. Dude, the Obi-Wan movie is just going to be like... R4 trying to find him. Who else should, Who else would be looking for him? Mace Windu. Mace Windu. He's still alive. I would not be surprised, honestly, if Dave Filoni brought back Mace Windu. Because Dave Filoni... <laughs> Austin says when droids die they go to Cloud City. Do you have a um a tray of like one by one filler? I need a one by one white brick. Uh 
That'll be in a bucket in my... Here, I'll grab it. I actually, I don't know exactly where it is. Hang on. Clark Mills says, quote, R4 G9 was an astromech droid that was assigned to Obi-Wan Kenobi. Kenobi replaced the droid R4 P17. The Benjamin says, I think my boy R4 joined the droid army after being abandoned on Geonosis. That is my personal theory. I dig that theory. What, what was the theory? R4 joined the droid army after he was left on Geonosis. Oh, okay. Hutch says, his head got taken off by a buzz droid. Then obi wan ship crashed when landing into the hangar bay of Grievous' ship. Yeah, I'm talking about the episode 2 R4, guys. In episode 2, R4 is not a full droid. He is just a head connected to Obi-Wan Starfighter. Obi-Wan Starfighter is left on Geonosis when the droid has find him. I'm asking, how did R4 make it from episode 2 to episode 3? Did he fly back to Coruscant? You know what would be really be funny? What? If George Lucas, like, digitally added in, like... In the Battle of Geonosis in Episode 2, the Starfighter flying around and, like, helping out the clones. <laughs> that would be a... If he did special editions for the prequels, he would yeah. do Yeah. Midgen says... Or Clark Mill says, R4 is not in Episode 3. He's at the beginning of Episode 3. His head gets cut off by a buzz droid. JJG says, they're totally different models. Guys, in the visual dictionary for episode three, it specifically states that R4 got a head, uh, got a full body upgrade. I'm trying to figure out how he got off Geonosis. That book is probably wrong. Is my guess. Those books always just made stuff up, anyway. That is true. All right, I'm over it. We can. We don't have to discuss that anymore. I've accepted my fate. Your fate will be the same as ours. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Palpatine is the original, uh, the what's his name? She Palpatine squeal. Yeah. Designer. Ithard says, thank the stars, that's over. Ithard, I'm sorry, it's just really bugging me, man. Stormy says, R4 was on his way to flying back to Coruscant, and he hit the escape pod off of Lando's Falcon. His flight got <laughs> redirected to Obi- His flight got redirected to Obi-Wan Starfighter. Bam, two birds, one stone. Okay, I buy it. I'm on board. Thank the maker. I'm going to tweet Dave Filoni. This is an out. I mean, not Dave Filoni. Pablo Hidalgo. Pablo, we need to know what happened to R4. Tell us now. Tell us now. Go on. Tell us. Go on. <laughs> I'm a nice guy now. Go on. What's up, Forever Lego Studios? He says, hey guys, I'm back. How's both of your days going? It's a good day. It's a great day, it's actually. It's pretty swell, my man. It's my birthday today, so. Pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff. Austin Nash says, Obi-Wan filed an insurance claim on his spaceship. Duh. <coughs> Obi-Wan seems like the kind of guy that would be like, too grumpy to even like learn how to do anything like that. He'd, yeah. Like, call up his nephew. Like, like he didn't like flying. He didn't like uh, heights. I don't know how to deal with all this insurance. I, uh. I want the Jedi to do this. The Jedi are taking over. It says y'all think designer is into Lego Star Wars? Definitely. He's probably watching right now. Dude, who isn't into Lego Star Wars?
Rich Boy J, this guy that goes to my high school looks 99% like you. Yeah, I go to your high school. <laughs> is that Jay? It is I. Um, what did I do? I did something. Poodoo. Your phantom water. Ernie Slam Jam says, I heard Drake plays Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. <laughs> Turn the O2 into the O3. I was playing Lego Star Wars with my woes. Says, hey Jay, what did you get Garrett for his birthday? LOL. Hmm. That remains to be seen. He didn't give me nothing. Wow. Way to out me on the gram, yo. It's okay, guys. Don't at me. He got me Lego bricks. I gave him the opportunity to have a birthday stream. <laughs> putting me in the putting Garrett birthday stream in the title. Yeah, there you go. It says that sounds like rich boy unit in there. I wonder if hello, hello, how interesting. I'm not I don't I don't quite get that reference in there. Yeah, what would be a bad landing for Obi Wan? If they made an Obi Wan movie, it should be called Another happy landing in Obi Wan movie. Another happy landing. Another poor dialogue choice. Bro, he looked so happy when he said that. I was beginning to. He's so much hat. Why is he so much less grumpy in episode three than he is in episode two? In episode two, he would have been like, Anakin, you're freaking stupid. He's oh yeah, that, okay. I got you. I got you. Someone notes Vincent Lestrade wants to know if it's Rich Boy Garrett or Garrett Boy J. I'm gonna go with Rich Boy Garrett because I am J. Boy Garrett. Who's that? That is Sebastian calling me on the what? What you want, fool? He hung up. It was probably an accident. Another horrible landing. Forever Lego Studios says, Hey Garrett, I loved your first video on your channel. That was a good video. Everyone, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to Garrett Bricks. Um, it's in the description, the link, so if you need to find it, it's there. Go ahead and show some love to Garrett. He posted a dope Corellia mock. Thanks, guys. Jake Bosch wants to know if Garrett's 21 today. Yeah, he can finally legally drink. <laughs> finally happened. I've been I've been legal for a while. Who was that? Forever Shout out to Forever Lego Studios too. Uh, he's working on a pretty cool Hoth mock. Pretty large, pretty large scale. Oh actually. really? Yeah, he's working on a pretty big Hoth mock. He's uh, finishing what M and R started. I will finish what you started. Shout out to Big Bailey. He says happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you. Appreciate it, Bailey. I like that you, you took off from school to come wish me a happy birthday. It means a lot. Mini Brick Production says, question, why did they film Star Wars The Last Jedi on Crate instead of Hoth? Answer, because Rich Boy J melted Hoth with his sick beats. Cold, Heck yeah. Just like Hoth. Cold, Cold, just like Hoth. Cold, just like Hoth. If you haven't listened to Cold Like Hoth yet, what are you doing with your life? Check it out. I should get a piano to keep in here just so I can play that beat. I 
I was beginning to wonder whether you'd gotten my message. Preach it, Marty. Easy, you call that easy. <laughs> no, what's the I love? I was watching an episode four the other day when Han walks in. And he's like, "Well, you don't have to worry about your imperial trouble or something along those lines." And then they're like practicing with the lightsaber. He's just like, "Well, don't all thank me at once." Yeah, <laughs> just like, aw. Han, Han just wants to be appreciated. There's so many great Han moments. Oh yeah, dude. Han is. We should do that in honor of Han Solo. San Hollow. San Hollow. What's your favorite Han Solo moment? Han Solo, a Star Wars moment. Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. Solo. I know what my favorite moment is. Oh, Austin, you need to chill out. Wow. Dude. That's just disrespectful. What's up with you and your friends? Why are you all so morbid? Disrespectful, Austin. Respect the dead or get got. Sorry. You Gucci, you Gucci, bro. Tony's awesome channel. I have a Lego channel, and I was wondering if you could check it out and give me some feedback. Yeah, if I can remember after the stream, I will check it out, man. I always like checking out new, new channels, seeing what the what the kiddos are up to, you know. Entered says the face he pulls when instead of opening the indoor bunker, another door closes. Oh yeah, that, that was great. great. I love that, and the one that you mentioned me one time. Whenever, uh, what was it? When, what exactly happened? Basically, the one where he's just like, eh? I think it was when on indoor. Yeah. Yeah, after the Ewoks the troops, come out. Yeah, and exactly. Much everyone is just like, <laughs> yeah, we're good here. We're fine. Everything's fine. How are How you? Are you? <laughs> um, the my favorite moment of all time is when they're on Cloud City. I'm sure Jalen knows because I've mentioned this before. But they're when they're on Cloud City, and Lando invites them to dinner, and they open the door, and everyone of course remembers that scene. The door opens, and Darth Vader's standing there. And what does Han Solo do? This is the bad... He's he's basically immediately thinks, okay, we're, we walked into a trap. Standing across the table from me is the baddest dude in the galaxy. This is like... This is... This is the worst guy ever. It's Darth Vader. And what does Han Solo do? He pulls out his blaster and starts shooting. Like, that's... That that's is great. That's, that's the kind of guy Han is. He runs into Darth Vader and just... Starts blasting him. I mean, it didn't work, but... Hey, you know so. what he said? Nothing's nothing's a match for a good old blaster on your side. Good Forever Lego Christmas Studios blaster. is apparently going to be at Brick Road Chicago. Awesome. Are you going to bring your Hoth mock there? Remind me to look at his mock. I would love to see it. Yeah, if I, if I remember the last one I watched, he's still working on uh, trench outlines and stuff. Okay. Like it seems pretty early on, but looks like it's gonna be pretty big. You know, if Five I ever boys, did a galactic bricks, if I ever did a Hothmock, I would want to make it like Battlefront One, like the the old Battlefront One style, like, like just with multiple huge, command with like, points. Yeah. yeah, I would love to do it like that. Uh, I think the one I would want to do is uh, like 2015 Battlefront. I like the. I actually like the way that one was situated. So it's basically, basically the middle of it's a mountain. Yeah. And the ion cans like kind of on top of it, and then like one side you have like the main kind of hangar door, and like a little area, and then kind of on the side of it is where like the generator and all the trenches are and stuff. Okay. Because like I definitely played. It. I just don't remember. I always get it confused with the yeah, most recent it's, one. It's more. It's. I would not do the most recent one. Yeah. Um, but the 2015 one, yeah, I just like it because it was almost like condensed in a way. Yeah. That made sense. It was like, because obviously the hangar isn't facing directly at the battlefield. Mm -hmm. We get we can gather that much from the movie. Um, what did Bailey's bricks say that was significant? It says, I got some bad news, boys. Some recent life events and my own personal choices have meant that I'm taking a break from Lego building. Unfortunately, that means that my crate mock is on pause for a bit. 
Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it more of you're you're less interested in it now, or like something is literally preventing you from being able to do it? If you're uninterested, then I mean that's unfortunate. But you know, do do what you think it's important to do in life? Uh, otherwise, I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Bailey, but I hope everything gets sorted. The Benjamin says, my favorite Han moment is when he chases those troopers into the Death Star and he enters the room filled with hundreds of stormtroopers. That was great. If I ever did a Death Star mock, that would totally be part of it. Oh, like, yeah, just sure. a room with a ton. I wonder why Brick Plumber didn't do that. I know that I think about that. Like, that would have been just an excellent thing to put in there. That's actually one of the better choices, like the edits that George Lucas did for the original movies. Give him credit. Give him credit. He's dead. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Says it would be cool if you bought a crate to, a piece of crate to Brick World, like a chunk of a mountain or something. We might do. I don't think we'd bring a mountain. That would just be awful to train. Not a mountain, but I mean. We'll bring like maybe a trench square or something like that. Because we were thinking about maybe bringing like enough base plates to have like. Like, I wanted to bring something to, like, put, like, Kylo's shuttle on. Yeah. To, like, have them facing each other on, but... We'll have to see how... What the luggage situation is. <laughs> I, I don't think that's the real MNR. No, the real MNR, MNR is we a have mod. is a mod on here. You're a that fake... Is, that is actually very funny, though. But you're a fake man. I'm gonna have to, uh... Ban, well, I won't ban you, but I will put you in timeout, because we have a pretty strict policy on not impersonating other people. Uh, that was kind of funny, though. <laughs> give me, we'll give you. Props. I give you your props, but we'll, I will, I'm gonna try to be a little consistent here. Yeah, we can't allow fake profiles just because we like what they said. Yeah, I don't. I don't want other people to think that you are the real MNR. The real MNR is a mod on this channel for that reason. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. If we if there's ever an MNR in the chat and it's and it's not a mod, you know he's not the real one. Yeah. Kid the Tigs. I really enjoy that name. It's good. It sounds like a rapper almost. Because it's What's your least favorite like special him? edition change? Definitely the Java, the Java scene. scene. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That Java it is scene. Just... It's so bad. You cut it out of the movie the first time for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Not even because like maybe you weren't happy with the way Java looked, but also just the fact that it doesn't flow in the movie at all. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to have it there. And especially knowing, like in retrospect, knowing where episode six ends up, like the character of Java is just so different. Yeah, no. But Jabba the Hutt is not a guy that would wal waltz That would up waltz it and be like, hey, Han. And let yeah. Han step on his tail. Yeah. Jabba would have had him shot on the spot. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. So as my mom used to call me Tiggs when I was a kid. Oh, okay. That's cute. Kid the Tiggs. Because it's cold just like Han. Skirt! Cold just like Han. Skirt! Hey, How does that Spongebob song go? Not Greedo. Stepping on a beat. Do, 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 do. I would put the Java change over the Greedo shootout change. What about the size noodles? That's my they like very her, close second. They should have had her feather, and then I would have been okay with it. Oh, okay. But they didn't have her feather. She does have her feather in the uh, Clone Wars TV show, though. So. That was a terrible arc. It wasn't even an arc. That was a terrible episode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like, disagree. Why was I can't believe that happened? That's Dave Filoni for you. So, did you guys register for Brickworld because on the list? Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna officially register tomorrow. So, have no fear. Do you think any special edition change made the scene better? I feel like all the Cloud City stuff made it better, like with the windows and such. Yeah, no, I would I would agree with that. That Tatooine back, like the Tatooine background stuff, really is awful. I hate that so much. <laughs> In episode four. Yeah, like oh, Tatooine yeah. is fine without all of that. Now, those changes, I. Pretty much indefensible. Like, they just, it just added so much crud on the yeah. screen. It's like, I want to be able to see what's happening. Exactly. <laughs> like, this big like monster when Shot Monster just walks, it's like, why? You want this this low texture, like, Jurassic Park ripoff thing walking yeah. in front of the screen? Like, what are you doing? Like, why would you even want, like, that in the foreground, anyways? Like, it doesn't look good. Hold the on, CG. I need to turn this around. The CG rock in front of R2. <laughs> How did he get back there? The rock, I don't know. R2 is like projecting a rock via hologram. <laughs> Captain 
Captain Rex Productions lives in Germany. Yeah, Germany has a pretty thriving Lego community, I've noticed. I was beginning to wonder whether you've gotten my message. There's all sorts of good German builders out there. Appreciate that, Gabe Bricks. I feel like this update for this week is going to be really fun. You guys are going to get to see how the door kind of interacts with the rocks. You say that every week. Well, I mean, have Jake I disappointed? Clickbait. Have I disappointed? No. Hux says, I'm trying to convince my superiors to let me go to Brick World Chicago because it's only two and a half hours away from my Earth home. <laughs> Bro, do it. That'd be great. I cannot wait to meet a lot of you guys at Brick World Chicago. You have to, if you do time. come, you have to come in full uh, Hux cosplay. Hux cosplay. I mean, not cosplay. Your, your Hux uniform. Yeah, just wear your... Your uh, first order uniform. Your your your. What are they? So like in the army, they call it like your 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 blues, like your dress blues. Wear your dress blacks. That's too far forward. Would you ever say y'all this update is gonna suck? Uh, if it if it was if it actually sucked, I would keep it real with y'all. I think we've had updates before where we talked. We were like, well, we didn't do a whole lot this week, so yeah. I mean, I wouldn't build something up that I myself like didn't believe was actually like interesting you know we we're just excited about what we built guys i'm so excited Do you guys have the complete Star Wars movie set? I feel all you need is the Phantom Menace lol lol, so I'm going to take it you were kidding about that. I have the last Blu-ray collection they put out. Um, the one with Anakin on the cover? The one with Anakin on the cover, of all things. I'm really hoping that Disney puts out, once I guess once Episode Nine comes out, we get a like a full saga yeah. disc set. Maybe maybe even a, uh, they'll, maybe they'll despecialize it for us, or something nice. Hey, no. don't get ahead of yourself, kid. Uh, I just want that Java scene out of my movie. That Java scene is so bad, guys. I can't even... John Cena says Brickwiz needs Whataburger his first day he's here. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No. What he needs his first day here is some hard manual labor. Putting all of this up. I was going to say, whoa, jeez, dude, really? <laughs> He's coming down here to help. He's coming down here to what does he think to put in work. What does he think we're paying him for? You hardly pay us at all. Anthrid says, I'm just waiting for Rogue One's deleted scenes. I feel we'll ne those will never see the light of day. Like, most of those I feel we'll probably never see. Dang. Doom, doom, doom. Santiago says, can you guys turn the mountain or turn the camera so we can see how it's going? Yeah, um, we, we just have to... I'm actually good. I don't need... Oh, you're good? Me. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Sometimes we have to, like, position them next to each other just to make sure they flow well together, you know? Can y'all see good? Is the mic in the way? Can we see our... It's our angle, like... There it is. There you go. It looks like a real mountain. Um, let's get a minifig for scale. Actually, looks bigger on the camera seeing the minifigure there. Because I'm like yeah. looking at it right now, and I'm like, oh, there's still so much to do. No, it, 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 you got some good progress done, homie. I'm going a little quicker. Once like once you kind of learn like where like you know where you need to keep things in mind to like for it to like match up with structure wise yeah. and stuff, that you start to be able to go a little quicker. Jake Bosch says, "What a burger is better than In and Out? Don't at me." I agree with you. I honestly prefer In N Out. I like In N Out a lot, but Whataburger is just Whataburger beats it out on the options, I think. In N Out makes a really solid burger. Like I don't I don't like comparing Whataburger and In N Out because I I really like them both. Yeah. Whataburger's the goat though. 
Don't make me at you. Could you imagine Anakin saying that? Don't make me at you. Don't try it. Leave him, or we'll never make it. What's the rush, Chancellor? And that's my favorite pumpkin reviews. <laughs> Can we put, put the one by one bricks over here. Yeah. Honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. That's where it's at. At Whataburger. Although right now, for a limited time, they brought back the Buffalo Ranch chicken strip sandwich, which is mm, is dang so good. If I wasn't already, man, talking about Whataburger just makes me want Whataburger. No, nah, bro, you gotta get those wings. I know, I know. If I wasn't already getting wings tonight, wings beats Whataburger for sure. That mountain looks insane. Appreciate that, kid, the Tigs. The mini pig makes it look so big. It's getting there. Let's see if we can get more of it in the shot. There we go. Can y'all still hear us? We'll try to talk loudly. I'll turn the gain up. Doom, 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 doom. All right, is the volume doom, fine, guys? Hug says, I really like how you are blending the colors. I like the grouping of colors together. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that makes it look really good. I agree. Thanks, KL Bricks. Does that stand for Kylo Bricks? Or Cardi Bricks? That's a good question. Yeah, I've, like, my biggest wish for Rogue One would have been they changed up just the overall gender, so, like, how she fit in. Like, I would have much preferred her having been, like, an actual, like, person working in the Rebellion. Like, she was originally, a lot of the early stuff, she's called Sergeant Jyn Erso. Yeah. Like, originally, she was supposed to have been, like, someone that was actually in in it, you know? You, I, don't, I don't know if I ever got that impression. I thought that was just... No, about, I, that was yeah. definitely, because in, in the early artwork that, like, Inthert's talking about, I remember one being quoted, it was, like, an early draft of the movie had, like, the intro scene scene would have been like after we get the flashback it carries over and it's like Jyn so leading a mission that the re rebellion's doing no, so basically like, getting rid of stuff. like the beginning subplot where she gets rescued by Saw yeah I like, feel like Saw is totally pointless in the movie like he I don't think Saw yeah. adds anything to the movie no, he, other than he the fact that they get to go to Jetta, like I could I could deal with Saw not being in that movie but it was cool to get a Clone Wars character in a but that's in a movie. It, like if it's only like they could have picked literally anybody else, I mean, or I mean, it, I, so how about this? It could have been Saw. I just he could have been. They, they could have done his his role in the movie better. Yeah. Lies, deception, deception. Why is he so? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dramatic. Like, calm down, bro. Benjamin says Saw was just there for fan service. Exactly. I'm okay with that. As long as it's good. Alright, I do need to turn this. Sorry, guys. I'll try to keep it sort of angled. So y'all can see it. But I got to be looking at both sides here, you dig? Boom, doom, 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 doom. Boom, doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 doom. I'm going to build a massive mock on two six-foot tables. What planet slash scene should I do? Um, I don't know. I mean, the Battle of Naboo. What? I mean, what's your favorite like scene in Star Wars? I'm big. I'm a big proponent of build what you want to build. Clark says, Garrett, is your Wakanda mock going to be about the same size as the Corellia mock? Um, yeah, that's probably a rough size, what I would do. Like I said, I wouldn't do anything huge. The Corellia mock, for anyone curious, was basically, it was four tan base plates. So. Benjamin says you should do a massive clone base. You could do a massive clone base. Kid the Tigs was thinking of making Mustafar. That would be a cool, like, I've never, I don't think I've seen anyone do, like, a huge Mustafar mock. Yeah. So, you know, you could have, like... That would be cool in, to visualize, like, a big moose. I, so someone has done a huge one, but it wasn't... It was more just kind of, like, scenery. It wasn't, like, with, like, the actual battle kind of integrated oh, okay. into it. It actually looked beautiful. I'm sure someone can find it. But 
that's I was kind of disappointed in that they didn't seem to really incorporate much of the battle. Love a light shining through right here. <laughs> do a massive clone base on Octo. How much money do you think the mock is going to cost, and are you splitting the expenses? That's just questions that don't need to be answered. And it's just easier for us to not to not think about think that. About it. Yeah, I take Garrett's cut out of his paycheck. <laughs> You better stay off that too mean if you can't take the heat. So I'm kind of working on the shape of the door and so part of me wanted to make it sort of round but the more I think about it, it isn't it's it's slightly round but it looks more like this you know like yeah you agree yeah because I mean like even in like some of those art books like it's it, like you know it's kind of that angle yeah it's like a rounded triangle does putting down the salt ever get tediously repetitive yes but it's very satisfying it's, it is satisfying and as long as we had all the pieces it was like yeah. It, it never even took very long, like when, especially when there's two of us. Like Jalen was doing it one time when I left the stream early a couple weeks ago, and you were like salting for a while. Yeah. But when there's two of us doing it, like it goes by pretty quick. Honestly, the most monotonous thing is probably um, making pillars. Making pillars that go underneath. Lego bricks doing a face reveal in June. Mark your calendars, folks. It's going down for real. <laughs> Someone has to know that song. Do you know that song, Garrett? I don't think so. What? By Flo Rida? Somebody has to know that song. Oh, wait, no, song. I do. Okay. Uh, okay. I didn't recognize... The way you sang it was weird at first. I was like... I literally, it's literally... It's going down for real. And then it's... Yeah. You're, okay, that's sort of... Bro, no. You're not about to do this to me. No, you... But no, you can do an impression better than that. Nah, dude. <laughs> Jake Bosch says, Flo Rida, the won't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's me. Don't diss my boy Flo Rida like that. <laughs> you just like to be a hater. You're an H8. Dude, if you were a droid, your name would be H A E R. BB Hate. And third says, I guess it has some variation too, like it's not one type of brick or shape. You could have some creative input on the shape of each salt plate. I think he's talking about like the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fractals. It's not doing this it's not necessarily doing the same thing over and over again, which is nice. Exactly. John Cena says demonetized. <laughs> Appreciate that, John. John Cena. <laughs> Your time is up, my time is now. You can't see me, my time is now. Is that John Cena's song? You would, isn't he your favorite wrestling? Yeah. I was just testing him, bro. I, I knew that that was uh, okay. So many fake wrestling fans. Dude, I'm, a, I'm as real as they come when it comes to wrestling. Some call me the biggest wrestling fan of all time. You know that video of the guy where he's crying and he's saying it's still real to me, damn it? Yeah. That was, that was you? Yeah. Wow. Have one or both of you seen Game of Thrones? And what's both your opinion on it? Have you seen Game of Thrones, Jalen? Nope. Pretty good show. Um, I've seen most of Game of Thrones. I actually read the books before the show came out. Cool so, guy. Well, I read the books after season one. So I watched season one first, and then I read all the books. Um, so the show is good, but I, I wanted to read the books 
and like because they they diverge pretty seriously and but are still more or less the same so i wanted to like when the when the show caught up to the books and overpassed them i wanted to like read the books first so i haven't watched since like a few seasons ago but it's a good show Garrett, literally every stream you do is theme. Yeah, no, I. It, it's 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 obligation at this point. <laughs> it's part of our agreement. It's part of the rapport we got going on this channel. It's going down for real. Yeah, shout out to Flow Rider. You think we can get him on the stream? Of course. I heard he's a fan of the channel. He's Mr. Worldwide. He's not Mr. Worldwide. Oh, that's, that's a pit bull. Right? <laughs> You're the same person. The disrespect. To me. <laughs> I can't believe I just made that mistake. <laughs> Do you guys go to UH? If so, what are you studying? I actually graduated from UH. Um, I studied history and political science. And I'm using that to further my Lego building career. <laughs> building non-historical mocks. I did not go to UH. I go to Mi Mi Michigan. Big blue. Go blue. Shout out to everyone who never gave up on me. Benjamin says, just show him your cold like hop. He'll be hooked right away. Oh, Guys, if, so if I could get a flow rider feature oh, on that song, so I swear. You better stay in. All right, I think I'm happy with this. What do you think? So it'll basically be the flip flop on the other side. Okay, so the, the direct middle is right. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, works for me. It's a, it's a, a slight curve, but not too much. It, it will still look very bowed, I mm -hmm. feel. All right. Worst case, we can I, you can just take it all apart. <laughs> Crap, I just... Oh, this isn't going to work. Well, hold on. Right, I was also never super picky about the, uh, the door. I need to see if this piece exists. Ugh. How did I make this mistake? Slope, uh, 65, Lego. I don't know if this piece exists in dark tan. Uh -oh. If only we made our door a different color. It does not, well, never mind. So the short of it is I forgot that this part under here, because I used threes for this. Mm -hmm. So this part under here would need a one uh... by. You know? So, back to the old drawing Dang. board. I that know. Sucks. Wrecked. Wrecked. Thank you, FN2362. Appreciate it. Bro. That sucks. Dude. This is what I get for... If we just made the door straight up, it would be no problem at all. It says, where can I see the mock when it is finished? You will see the finished mock at Brick Fiesta in San Antonio. And probably on Beyond the Brick. Well, Say hopefully. Antonio. I won't. I won't just assume that's a foregone conclusion. Dude, what if they? What, what if they got there and they're like, eh. what if they walked up to us at Brick Fiesta and they're like, oh, nice guys, and just kept walking? Yeah. <laughs> I'd feel so betrayed. I would feel very sad. I'd be like, after you guys gave us an interview last year at Brick Fiesta, you're gonna skip us now. And they said, so what part doesn't exist? Uh, this part. Basically, imagine this slope, the 65 degree slope, but where it's a 1 by 2 instead of a 2 by 2 It doesn't exist in dark tan. And for what I was just building, I would have needed it in dark tan. So, now I have to redo it. It's going down for real. I can't believe I got Pitbull and Flo Rida confused. Coolio, I will do my best to come see you guys. They're both sellouts, so. Dang. No respect for Mr. Worldwide or... Mr. Worldwide. 
Did you ever watch the show Atlanta? No, I did not. Uh, <laughs> was he on it? No, uh, they mentioned him. They were like, they basically like, I, I don't remember the context, but he got brought up as like a joke of like, sell out like mainstream like hip hop and rap. And then one of the other guys was like, no, I like Flo Rida. And like, they like looked at him and he was like, the girls need something to listen to. <laughs> what? They were like, okay. All right. But I always thought that was funny. Shout out to Flo Rider. Tobias wants to know if I like Dean Ambrose and me. Roman Reigns. Um, I like Roman Reigns. You like Roman Reigns? Yeah, I think. I mean, I thought, rest, I thought all wrestling fans like hated him. They hate the idea that he's getting pushed, or the idea that he's kind of like the main guy. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I, I like him. I think he's fine. He doesn't deserve the notoriety that he gets, but okay. he's fine. He doesn't deserve the hate. And it says, oh, okay, it's always things like that that you think should be available. Hey, shout out to Brick Builder Studios for the donation. Thanks, man. Wow, thank you so much. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, as Brick, Brick Builder Studios was telling us stuff, is he is he in Rebel Lug? Because he was telling oh, us Oh, he was saying he was going to be at... Uh, Brickwall? Okay, but he was aware of like the oh, situation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay, in, yeah, he probably Rebel is then. Are you in Rebel Log Brick Builder? Brick Builder Studios. Let's go. See, now that song's gonna be stuck in our head. Oh my gosh, of course it is. Can't believe you've done this to us. He says not, not in Rebel. Just displaying with them. Okay. okay, that's cool. We will that's see basically you later the then. same situation that we're in. Yep. We roll in. He like says he this. knows them well. Do you know the Rebel Lug? The Rebel Lug? The Rebel Lug? Do you know the Rebel Lug? Who is your favorite wrestler of the WWE? AJ Styles. I know who that is. Do you really? Uh, I mean, I've heard of him. I don't think I can pick him out of a lineup. I guess this will have to suffice. It's all in quant. It's all in uh, it's all even numbers. I think it's fine. Okay. Loving the mock. Can't wait to see it done. Appreciate that. FN two three six two. There it goes. Ugh. <laughs> Bro, stop hating on my boy. Oh, the figure you pulled out here. Is that... Uh, that's not David that's Hall. That's not David Hall. David Hall is... is David he's Hall? on the... No, he's in the, the trench. Yeah, he's right here. Shout out to David Hall. And... Chris Productions. Chris Productions. We will use their their spirits to give us the will to finish this mod. OW says, do you know who Brickitect is? I think Garrett does. I've never actually like looked at his channel, though. Yeah, I don't watch his videos a whole lot, but Jake Posh Bosch says I don't understand lugs Jake very Bosch. well. Anyone care to explain? I'm in my local lugs Facebook group, but I don't get it. So Jalen can probably explain actual like Lego user groups a little better than me because he's in text lug. But what is what is your rundown of a lug? So um, generally, a lug is just a group of builders. Typically, a lug consists of people who are in the same area. Um, although, like, you obviously hear things like Rebel Lug or Inferno Lug or Beta Lug who are kind of just a collection, like, a very specific type of, type of lug, like Star Wars, and a collection of people across, you know, the world who, who all, like, will do collaborations and work together and stuff like that. But typically, um, it's just a group of people in an area who meet up and, like, will exchange parts, uh, organize, like, events uh, to, obviously, display Lego and stuff like that. So... Uh, one of the cool things about being in a like a lug that's recognized by Lego is they offer what's called lug bulk, which is essentially an opportunity for you to purchase bulk Lego parts for really cheap prices. Um, so that's one of the like biggest incentives for being in a lug, uh, as well as other things like taking place in conventions and things such as that. Hopefully that gives you the rundown. Hopefully that gives you the skinny.
John Cena says, Jay, I started another Dreadnought for the fourth time. This one is going to dwarf the UCF Star Destroyer. That sounds insane. Make sure it's structurally sound. That's all I gotta say. I can't say. believe you have kept restarting your UCS, your custom UCS project. For real, though. can't believe you would restart that numerous times. That's just ridiculous. Come on, man. Jake says, oh, that's pretty dope. Maybe I should go to a meeting. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no, it's a great, it's a great time. If you want to, you know, do more Lego-related things and meet more people who are into stuff like that, then I definitely urge you to go to your like meetings. Elias13 uh, says, have you seen Infinity War and what are your thoughts? We both enjoyed it quite a lot. That movie went so hard. The movie was great. It was, just, it was, it was just so cool. Like, the movie was awesome. There's no other way to describe it, really. It reminds me of kind of The Force Awakens in that there's re- there's no wasted time on anything. Mm-hmm. Like, everything has a Everything purpose. is pointed, you know. They did not waste any time in that movie. Which Star Wars episode is your favorite one? Jalen's favorite is Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. The best one. Nah, I, nah, I mean, it's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> It could be the it could be the best it one. It could be the best one. I fully accept that. Like to me, I, I, my favorite's episode five. But um, to me, you can you're justified in saying either episode four or episode five is the best Star Wars movie. Cool. And I don't think like anyone should disagree. Because if you do disagree with that, we're gonna be throwing hands. We're gonna be throwing hands and throwing bands. Because bands will make her dance. Exactly. Exactly what my boy Jay just said. I keep it real. You may not have good words, but if you want good words, go watch a languager channel. Exactly. (laughs) Gerald Huck says, at John Cena, thank you for building another one after what happened to our first one. (laughs) It's part of that insurance claim. Jake Bosch says Republic credits will make her dance. Nah, I think she needs something more real. No one picked up on that Star Wars Episode 1 reference? Come on now. I actually didn't. Was that a, was that a Watto on yeah. Tatooine? Okay. And, he's, and he's like, credits will be fine. No, they won't! Why did, the, why did it not work on Watto? Because he's a Tugdarian. Alright, see you I just don't understand. What makes Toydarian so special? Bro. That's my question. Have you seen the hats that they wear? <laughs> that alone makes them special. They do have really nice hats. Going down. It's going down for you. Well, Rider's, he was very good at making songs that are very catchy. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, yo, yo. It's Flo Rider. I don't know the words of this song, so I'll just freestyle. It's Flo Rider. Back on the beat. I was born on the floor of the streets. Came up, started rapping. Now all my fans be clapping. I chill with pit bull. I made a song with pit bull. Now I'm making songs with Garrett Briggs fool. You already know what it is. They call me Floor Rider. My best friend is Pit Bull. And when I go to sleep, real like Pit Bull. I dream about Pit Bull. <laughs> Worldwide, worldwide. Welcome to my house. Oh, that that that's a lyric from the song. They don't <laughs> keep going. No, I don't know the rest. <laughs> Just they know. Don't have to go something something. Infinity War is incredibly amazing. I'm I'm super excited for Avengers Four. Like after that movie, I cannot wait to see like the conclusion to all of this. I just want to see. I want to 
want to see someone kill Thanos. We almost got to see Thor do it. Bro. Spoilers. Thanos lives. Worldwide. World, worldwide. They call me Mr. Worldwide, a.k.a. Pitbull. A.k.a. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Gary, how do you feel about Snoop Dogg? I like Snoop. Snoop B L Double G. Dude, he has some classics. Clark Bills wants to know if we think Thanos is hot. Thanos is H A W T hot. Daddy Thanos. <laughs> oh my god. We need to stop objectifying Thanos. Yeah, guys. Thanos is a person, and his name is Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> have you listened to Royish Good Looks? He makes great Star Wars songs and parodies. I have not, but if you want to hear a really good Star Wars song slash parody, you should listen to Cold Like Hawk by Rich Boy Jane. This is a special day, like the door is being started. This will be a day long remembered. As the last time of the resistance. Welcome to Thor's house. Hey, what's up, Kevin Rattle? Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. From now on, every time Kevin comes in, I'm going to be like, Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Punch yourself in the face. That didn't hurt? Do you want it to hurt, Kevin? <laughs> We can't take your highness there, the hut's against us. The hut's against us. Captain Panaka, I think, is my favorite Star Wars character. Would anyone Panaka. else agree with me? The surprise being brick separator is dead. I'm gonna use the single one to stop stream. Oh, well, never mind. Rose Tycho is thick. Did you actually the Rose point? Tycho? Tico? Is it Tico? Yeah, it's Tico. I don't know. I don't like Rose. Who cares? I love how you just totally soured on Rose. What do you have against Rose? I don't know. She, I don't have anything against Rose. I don't like that she's getting in the way of Finn, Finne. But the actress that plays her is actually super pretty, so if y'all gonna insult Kelly Marie Tran, you can catch these hands. You can catch these Kelly Marie hands. These Kelly Marie hands. <laughs> Well, we got the best memes that will make her dream. We got the best memes this side of the Mississippi, guys. Welcome to my house. It's my house. My name is Pip, no. My name is Flo Rider, and I make dance songs, and I make club songs, and I make hip hop songs. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my house. It's my house. I have never been to Austria. I would love to go to Austria. I'd love to go anywhere in Europe. Hey, any of our viewers that live in Europe, can you fly me out to live with you for a while? Enthert. I would love to spend a weekend at Enthert's. I mean that Enthert's. in the least weird way possible. I want to go to a Lego store in the UK, and so I can hear them say the things we have to say, but in a thick British accent. Lego. That's in New Zealand, they say Lego. Oh, okay. You know, that's how they say Lego in New Zealand. Or at least our friend from New Zealand, the way he says it. 
Legal. Legal. What's up, Stanley Chung? Are you ready to count how many pieces we're using? Yeah. Here, you get a look at the mountain. You need to remember what was not there before and what has been added. So yeah, make sure you get a make sure you get a good look. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. Ender says there's five Lego stores in an hour radius of him. There we go. That's exactly what I need, dude. That's like a pick and build brick cornucopia. You have so much options. I never imagined that the word cornucopia would come up on these streams. Bro, but that's why. I'm, that's why I'm on these streams. I'm here to learn y'all something good when it comes to language. Learn me something good. It's my house. Who is Jim Nork? Is he a <laughs> yeah. baseball player for the Houston Astros? No. He's a guy that went to high school with Austin and I. Oh. That's a <laughs> lot less exciting. Do you know he's dating Emily Austin? He's dating Emily? Yeah, bro. Wow. I heard some things about her. She's a, good, she's a nice girl. She's a nice lady. Welcome to my house. Do we still have that bucket of red 1x6 bricks? Yes. Welcome to Flo Rally's house. I make dance songs. And I play with Lego bricks. And I watch Rich Boy J. Welcome to Flo Rally's house. Do you want to know a secret? I never eat in chocolate because I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, that's sad. Um, Garrett knows Austin. Garrett is Austin's childhood friend. It's not It's not wait, you guys know Austin in person. It's wait, Austin knows you guys in person? Exactly. Well, I don't think Austin's never met Jalen, but... He's going to be at Comic, Pal Comic Palooza this year. So. Kevin Rettle. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's going to come this year. Swag. Kevin Rettle says, Rich Boy J, top-notch singer. You guys thought I was a one-trick pony? I'm actually a five-trick pony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tap out at one trick. I tap <laughs> yeah, out at five, five tricks. <laughs> Welcome to Flo Rida's house. It's my house. My name is Flo Rida. This stream has just deteriorated. Bro, stop. <laughs> Flo Rida is a living legend. This stream started out so wholesome. We were talking about Star Wars memories and stuff. Now we're just like singing the same <laughs> three lines from Flo Rida. No, I sing, no, I switched it up. Okay. Kid the Tick says, Jay, bring out your ice. But it's so far away. I just want to sit here. I'm like George Lucas. I don't have to put an effort to these things. I want to just sit and watch my coffee and drink my coffee. A camera and B camera. See, Clark Mill says, I think the stream has only gotten better. Exactly. Its powers have doubled since we last met. Twice. We were discussing that. So when is twice the ice? If anyone double can tell us, the frost. When is the last time that Dooku and Anakin see each other in the Clone Wars? Yeah, because we were watching it, and Anakin is in that Naboo episode where Captain Tarpals gets got. Yeah, in season and, four, and Anakin and Obi Wan fight. I mean, Anakin and Count Dooku fight, and so Jay and I made that joke. We were like, "Well, I guess they do fight." Not in that episode. Anakin and Obi Wan fight later. If you guys aren't aware. <laughs> Well, you're right, they fight on uh, Mortis, so there you go. Dooku and... No, Anakin and Obi-Wan. Really? I think so. I don't care about Mortis. Or no, maybe... I don't know, they all fight each other on Mortis. Mortis is such a weird... Mortis is for smart fans. I'm dumb. Welcome to my house. The one with the pikes. Welcome to Flo Rida's house. I make dance songs. And I like chocolate cake. Oops, I don't like chocolate cake. I just exposed myself. Do, 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 do. 
He says the one with Psycho Dias in it. Is that? Are you saying that's the one where Dooku and Anakin last see each other? In okay. season six, they learned Dooku and Tyrannus is the same person. I think it would have taken that long to figure that out. I was recruited by a man named Tyrannus on the fourth moon of Bokton. Tyrannus. If anyone can tell you who said that line, I'll give you a dollar. I'll give you a dollar in Republic credits. I know what it is. I'll give I you a dollar in Republic credits. No. <sighs> Lego Gamer wants to know what's your favorite song it's not already. Fair. Favorite song on the radio? That new Flo Rida song. You know the one that goes, My name is Flo Rida, and I write dance songs, and I like chocolate cake, and I like Lego Star Wars. Talk on the Virtual Day channel. I like uh, that Camila Cabello, Camila Cabello, whatever her name is. So oh, you like that, whatever her name is, girl? Camila Cabello. Camil Camila Cabello? Who are you talking about? Camila Cabella. Sure Let's see how many times knows. Garrett needs to say the words Camila could whatever. She's the one that sings that song about going to Havana. I don't know who that is. Cuba. Havana, Unana. Half of my heart is in Havana, Unana. Skr, skr. <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes? Yeah, that's, that's actually how it goes. <laughs> Did you take the 2x4 brick? Yes. Bro, why are you... Why do you think you slick? I've been using them, bro. Havana Onana means family. That sounds about right. He took me back to East Atlanta. Na, na, na. Are you singing an actual song or are you just playing with me? No, this is an actual song. If Kristen was watching, she would comment and say something about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> My name is Pin. Stanley says we're at one seventy five pieces. I think we're I think you're you're lowballing us a little bit there. Bro. We don't pay you the big bucks to mess up, Stanley. Jeez, Stanley. Get a grip, man. Garrett, did you ever watch that show Stanley? This is called Stanley? Yeah. No. It was a never mind, whatever. Is that a real show? Yeah, it actually is. Are you just messing with me right I'm now? I'm not messing dude, well well I've never messed with you on anything. I feel like you're just making this up. Wow, I'm. That's an I quit. All right, I'll finish this up. Will Jay return? The old 2003 Clone Wars was just over the top Star Wars goodness. I agree, it was over the top. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I like. I like the. I like it enough. Do -do 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 -do. Welcome to my house. It's my house. Welcome to my house. How is that the song that's stuck in our heads? I don't know. That song was designed in a laboratory to get stuck in your head, so. AKA Florida's Head. Florida's Head is a song making lab. Florida's a genius, okay? Florida is. I prefer Florida to Kanye West. Yeah. Kanye West like looks up to Florida for who he kind of wants to be in, 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 terms of in terms of music. Right. What them bricks at? What bricks? Oh, the 2x4s? There you go. I got it. I don't know if you deserve the 2x4s anymore. How long will the stream go for? We're going to stream for... What, 45? Yeah, another 45 minutes. My name is Flo Rida, and I write dance songs, and I like chocolate cake, and I write pop songs. 
My name is... What did you say her name was? Camila Cabela. My name is Camila Cabela. Camila Cabela. My name is Camila Cabela. Nobody knows how to say my name. I'm working on the door, fam. The big door on crate. Alright, see ya, Jake Bosch. He says, bye guys, thanks for a fun stream. Mine's looking great, and y'all are super fun to watch. Also, shout out to everyone in the chat. Alright. Thank you, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate the kind words, my guy. Appreciate it. Glad you're able to join us on this illustrious day. It is a wonderful, wonderful day. Elite Gladiator says, Jay, please stop singing that. It's getting kind of annoying. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Kid the Tate says, you still like Cardi B? Of course. <laughs> Why'd we stop liking Cardi B? Car loving Cardi B is like loving your child. It never stops. It's unconditional. My name is the Elite Gladiator. I don't like it when Rich J sings. I don't like to have fun. Okay. He's just speaking up for the boyos. Oof, oof, oof. That was almost disastrous. What'd you almost do? I almost like broke this front part off before I could get it like hooked on the pillar so it almost all like went oh oh no but it's okay I caught it and put it back in place you scruffy looking nerf herder who scruffy looking I was thinking about this other day is Benedict Cumberbatch the actor, or is that Doctor Strange's real name? No, that's the actor. Oh, okay. Doctor Strange's name is Stephen Strange. Oh. Oh, that's not his pretend name? No, that was what, that's the joke for that. Oh, okay. Because he's, like, Doctor Strange is who he was even before he was a sorcerer. Because he was a surgeon. Oh, okay. Doctor Stephen Strange. That's a strange last name. Maybe. Who am I to judge? What's your favorite Star Wars insult? Like, okay. Um, Why you, no good, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder? Um, is that your favorite? Yeah, absolutely. That's tough to beat. My favorite is what I get the feeling we've picked up yet another Ooh, pathetic, pathetic life, life form. form. <laughs> That's my favorite Star Wars insult. That one's just too much. Someone get this walking carpet out of my way. Someone get this walking Leia carpet out of my Leia just got, got some flames on everyone. Dude, she had sass. Hey, don't spoil Doctor Strange. But yeah, he was a surgeon and he broke his fingers. That's kind of funny. My fingers. That's why he goes to seek magic to fix himself. Oh, really? Sorry, you have to watch the movie. It explains itself in the movie. Into the garbage chute, fly boy. Into the garbage chute, fly boy. My favorite is when Rose calls Finn dummy. Dummy. I saved you, dummy. She was just trying to say, I saved you, and that's dummy lit, but she got cut off. Aww. I saved you, dummy lit! <laughs> that's how that scene was supposed to be. Yeah, I, I can imagine. My name is Pitbull. 
Okay, I'll stop that. <laughs> it is now officially overstated. It's welcome. Yeah. We it was just so catchy. You murderous snake. You're a monster. You're a monster. That's the best insult. Yeah. When Ray calls Kylo a monster in her monster UK accent. You are a monster. Wait, Jay, are you working on the transport right now? Nah, no, I'm working on the wall right now. The Elite Gladiator says, thank God. Wow. Jeez. If you don't deserve me at my welcome to my house, then you don't des- Wait, what did I say? <laughs> I totally messed that up. If you don't appreciate me at my welcome to my house, then you don't deserve me at my... Hey guys, it's Rich Boy Jay back again with another video. <laughs> that was pretty good. You flea bitten furball. Only an overgrown mop head like you would be foolish enough. Who says that? That sounds like C3PO. Yeah. Talking to, talking to, talking Chewy. to Chewy. Poor Chewy. You didn't deserve all that. Chewie is the rock that held this band of rebels together. Chewie doesn't get enough credit. Oh, darn it. Is this fairy world? No, dairy world. Oh, darn it. And Lucas, you getting you anger in Nightbot? All he said was congr Garrett, congratulations. Thanks Thank because of the emojis. Yeah. Nightbot is weird. Come on, sorry Nightbot. I'm sorry, bro. I appreciate your your nice words. Your kind words shall not be forgotten. Is that a prequel line? Is that a not I don't know, that, was, that sounds like that a prequel was, line? That was like me trying to say something that sounded like it was from the prequels. I feel like there's a lot of those not prequel lines that sound like prequel lines. Yeah. Rebel Scum 4 said, happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you. Do I really look 28? Holy crap. 28? He says, I guess Jay was 28. Yeah, Austin's right. He knows me. Yeah, Garrett and I are both 28. Yeah, that's not too far off how old I am. Don't insult me like that. Garrett's actually 29. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I just don't know how old Pitbull is. He's probably 40. I will not condone any course of action that will lead us to war. Chad's love, but I'll arm tape today, though. Will you defer your motion to allow us to committee to. Oh my god. <laughs> Will you defer your motion to allow a committee to investigate the validity of your accusations? <laughs> Brickwiz says, happy fifth birthday, Garrett. Oh, thanks, Brickwiz. You remembered. Happy B-Day, Steve Rogers. Yeah, I got my outcast beard on, man. Like Captain America. Do, 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 do. Welcome to my house. How did you build the upside-down slopes? So this is a little trick you guys can use. So you take a slope... You take a Technic Axle, just kind of put it in there, like that, and then you basically take a brick, connect it like that, and then that will hold it in kind of here. So it wiggles a little bit, but it'll still stay in there. And once you build it up more and connect it in more places, it'll be fine. Why are you building upside down? Well, the wall, it kind of has a section that curves out first and then it goes back in. Garrett, did you get any presents? Um, I got The Last Jedi on Blu-ray from my sister. Uh, I got some money from my folks.
My brother said he was getting me a gift, but as of this morning, he had not bought it yet. So. This, are you going to slope upwards after it? Yes. Huck says, do you not have inverted slopes? These slopes do not exist in inverted form. The 65 degree ones. That would also be much more expensive than this. CP Gamer says, does your sister hate you? Wow. Wow. Too far, bro. Five said he just sent you a birthday present. Check your DMs. Wow. Okay. Where am I going? Liz, I can check my phone behind the mountains. You guys can't even see What it. did Drink T say? Oh, Drink T. I've noticed he's been suspiciously absent. Oh, he did basically the same thing. He posted happy birthday with emojis. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Says you guys gonna be live longer, gotta hop in the shower. We're gonna head out in about 35, so take a very quick shower. Or just take your phone into the shower, like a normal person. I've sent me a very pretty picture. Is it of Daisy Ridley? No. Oh, that is a pretty picture. Wow. It's a really pretty mock. Check it out, guys. Shout out to Fizzives. Ben Kossi on Instagram. Oh, him too. I'm going to follow him. We don't have to go alone. So why can Garrett sing that, but I can't sing my... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Mm hmm. It's, yeah, how it's post a picture of your collection. It just slipped out. Oh, but you can whistle it? <laughs> I swear, I didn't even mean to. <laughs> I can't believe that's the song that's stuck in our heads. Just think about Cardi B. I make money moves. I'm always thinking about Cardi B. If I'm being real with you. Can I be real a second for just a millisecond? Is that an actual song lyric? It's from the musical Hamilton. What? The musical? You not heard the musical Hamilton? Nope. You even heard of it? Nope. Bro, like, took the world by storm. Um, what am I looking for? I was looking for something. Oh, were you looking for love in all the wrong places? I was actually looking for that. Oh, that too. Enthered says, and then here's me with Into the Trap Suite in my head. What is Into the Trap Suite? Why do I not know anything? Do you know what that is? No. Rebel Scum 4 wants to know, have you ever had perfume rubbed on your head against your will? Can't say that I have. That sounds like a, that sounds like a happy landing. Another happy landing. Lanimation says, happy birthday, Garrett. Thank you. We have a lot of love going around. There are all sorts of love. This is a great day. Drink T says, Gare Bear, check your DMs, please, brother. Okay, give me a sec. Try to knock out as much work as we can before we end this. He says, in Return of the Jedi, when the rebel fleet realized the trap... Welcome to my house. It's my house. I'll check it after the stream, kid. The tigs. 
Happy B Day, boyo. He sent me an electronic card. Oh, that's very sweet, Drink Tea. Thank you, my man. He says, You're awesome, man. Can't wait for you to finish your mock. And all I wanted to say was, Happy birthday, boyo. Shout out to Drink Tea. Shout out to Drink Tea. Send me a very kind, very kind message. Thank you, Drink Tea. Garrett, did you did you have birthday nine or tenth of May? Uh, it's the tenth. May tenth. Kid the Tig says he sent you the happy landings meme on Instagram. I'll check it out. Welcome to my house. It's my house. We gotta stop. We really do. Clark Mills says, Colt, just like Hoff is in my head. I wish that were in my head. Because it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. Over and over again. Country boy J. Yeehaw! How are you going to build the slopes on top of the downward slopes? You shall see. You, you shall see. Patience, young ones. For in due time, all your questions will be answered. Chancellor. What's the rush? Chancellor. I love how I said that and you knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> Because it's all in my head, I think about it over and over again. I can't believe that's a song you know. Why? Why would I not know that song? Like this Dude, that's freaking Nelly. That's like an, like. Ugh. That's Nelly. Who doesn't know Nelly? <laughs> come on, dude. When it comes to rap music, like I know it. Like, come on, man. All right, fair enough. I don't know the Beatles though. <laughs> How long have we known each other? We've known each other since 2015. Yep. Met each other in 2015. Built Scarif Mock 2016. Now building Crate 2018. I almost forgot what year it was. Years aren't important. Only my new pies can save us. Only my new pies can do that. He says, what's that song's name? It's called Over and Over... Is that what it's called? I, I don't even know. It's by Nelly and Tim McGraw. Look it up. Are you boyos hyped for the new Star Wars animated series? I wouldn't say I'm hype. I'm just... We'll see. I'm cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Don't ruin it, Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni. You stupid little astro guy. Dave Filoni is a stupid little astro droid. <laughs> and it hurts so bad. Hutch says, if the Star Wars movies came out in chronological order, do you think the prequels would be loved and the originals not as much? Absolutely not. Prequels would... What makes the originals so much better than the prequels is not nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that drink tea. I'll definitely hit you up, homie. That looks kind of cool. Wow, I can't believe we're at the point where the, a door is being built. I know. It's kind of crazy. We got a mountain and a door. You should just build up half of it. Like, all the way up. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, like one side. Oh. Because we're both, yeah. <laughs> And it hurts so bad. Oof. 
Cause it's all in my head I think about it over and over again Now I can't keep picturing you and him And I can't take it I can't take it, no. All right, see you, Stanley. Appreciate the help, my guy. The door is going to be two base plates wide, basically. Two gray base plates. I think she's leaving. What's the final number, Stan, before you head out? I think she's leaving. I don't know what to do. Can't go wrong not loving you. Y'all didn't know country music is my favorite type of music. Okay, that's not true. I don't I don't want that misconception to be out there. How tall is the door gonna be? Asks Drake T. I don't know, like three feet. And I can't take it. I can't take it, no. How thick is the door going to be? It'll be... It'll be thick F. It'll be thick F. Elias says, he just found out Lego's really expensive in Denmark compared to the USA. I feel betrayed by Denmark. I think they just, they base, like, the prices generally on average income. And then, of course, you know, like, sh location can matter as well. But average income is certainly a factor. All right, I'll check my phone, homie. All right, well, let's see. Holy crap. Wow. Dude, you're crazy. Did you get the new UCS Y Wing? I did not. Jalen did. I sure did. I need to build that soon. Garrett, do you like Tim McGraw? No. Really? I mean, I don't necessarily dislike him, but I don't like country music, so. How do you not like country music? You're a cold blooded Texan. Bro, I'm all about that South Side. Bro. I think it's all in your head. You think my over and over again. Yeah. This great stream earlier, Wizzy Boy. Wizzy F Baby. Please say the baby. Wizzy F Baby and the F stands for Phenomenal. The only thing about this, maybe I'll add some cheese slopes at the very edge, is that this white layer at the bottom will be kind of what will be one elevated past the salt. Uh, it just it just ended up being that way. Otherwise, I would have to like do some annoying amounts it, of. I don't think it'll be huge enough. Like it won't be noticeable enough because like because the, the white in front of it's gonna, you know. Yeah. And it's never opened, so you'll see that it's like one over. Right. And when we have the middle part blown out where Luke walks through, like, he can just take them off, you know, change that whole area. Right. Stylish. So my idea, it's basically on the front and the back, there's going to be two sections that just kind of pop off. Mm-hmm. And then I'll probably bridge, like, the gap. So it's, it'll be, I guess, 12 wide from side to side. So pretty good viewing distance. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. Is that, so is that what you're going to do here? Exactly. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was going to probably put some... I don't think about that. So I was thinking, like, what the ground should look like. Maybe put some dark gray in here. Because that's where, like, the door kind of comes down. Mm -hmm. What we should look at some of those shots like before you like go super hard into that. We'll look right. at because like there's that really good overhead shot when Kylo wa walks through with all the stormtroopers. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll look at that. Yeah, I, for now I'll just kind of leave the space. That's the little bro, yo. Everyone always asks like, Jay, who's that in the background? Like, it's someone who shouldn't be here. I always find that funny. <laughs> Jay, turn around. 
Like, I want to be like, what? <laughs> Someone <laughs> in the background. That can only mean invasion. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> invasion. Invasion. Cause it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. Drink Tea says, your brother is like a mini you. I wish. He's not a mini me. My brother is... He's like I'm, taller than Jalen. He's not taller than me. But he is almost. He's probably like an inch shorter than me. And I'm six foot two. My To put that into perspective, my brother is 12 years old. Actually, he just turned 13. He's 13. His birthday was in April. And no, my brother doesn't really care about Lego, which is totally isn't that sad. It's that's like with my little brother too. Like we both used to be super into Lego together, and then he just kind of fell out of it. My brother was never into it, so I guess for me, it's just I just it's just I know it's not him, so it doesn't really okay. have an effect on me. It says, have you thought about how you're going to do the pipes that go up the center of the door? That will be tricky. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. He says, it reminds me of the person sleeping on the couch in David's clone army video. Is there really someone just sleeping while he's recording a video? That's kind of hilarious. Is that an old, an old vintage David? Probably. That sounds so funny, honestly. Like, he just recorded a video and just, like, pans over to someone just <laughs> sleeping on a couch. Drink Tea says, I think it's Javier. That would make the most sense. Loving you. interesting it's all in my hand I think about it over and over again bro Tim McGraw goes hard <laughs> says does your brother like flow rider probably not <laughs> no Weapon. That would be the ultimate betrayal. That would make me sad. That would be pretty unfortunate. I mean, you'd have to, you'd have to disown them really at that point. Pretty much. I would have him sent to the spice mines of Kessel. Does your brother like the prequels? I don't know if my brother has seen the prequels, to be honest. Like, seen them at all? Yeah. Wow. Does your brother really not care for Star Wars? He likes... He'll watch the newer movies. I think he's more into, like, the spectacle of just watching a new movie as opposed to, like, Star Wars. Right. Because he really likes the Marvel movies. Whoa, Zandy boy. Garrett gets two and a half meals a day, all right? I treat him with respect. I even stopped making him sleep outside. I don't know. I'm the one that gets to build the fun thing right now, so... This is kind of fun. How tall is it going to go up the reverse this part? line? Yeah. It'll be four of these, so okay. just one more. That's awesome. That's so, uh, that's so sizable. I love it. Yeah. Whoa. We got Chris checking it out. David's wondering why it's tan. 
<laughs> hey, we got Snoke in the house. How's it going, Snoke? He says, has anyone seen my daughter, Ray? Excuse me, sir, but she's not your daughter. I need you to not say things like that. Doc <laughs> says, my master, how did you survive? That's being thrown for a loop right now. Oh, Monday is the day. Monday is Rocket's day. That's the day. Monday is Pitbull day. I mean, float. Why do I keep getting those two confused? Can we? What is a Pitbull song we can sing? Uh, <laughs> I actually don't know. Any. Guys, what's a Pitbull song? Welcome to my house. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'm trying. It's hard, dude. Forget I'll about the something. your boyfriend and meet me in the hotel. Is that really a pitbull song? <laughs> Clark says we should make a flow ride on my maps. <laughs> One song. The name of that. The name of that pitbull song reminds me of uh. What's it called? That's me and my girlfriend. All I need in this life, per se, is me and my girl. I can believe you know that song. Dude, of course I know that song. I love how you like you can know that song, but I can't know that Nelly and Tim McGraw song. Well. I forgot that that was, like, pretty popular back when I came out. I think she's leaving. I don't know what else to do. Can't go on not loving you. That's the only Tim McGraw song I know that makes you feel better. <laughs> that's, See, that's where I was coming from. Okay, I got you. John Cena says, Austin Bricks, Rich Boy J. Garrett Bricks, what are your predictions for the Western Conference Finals? Uh, I'm going to say the Rockets will win because I never bet against the home team. I'm a homer. Oh, are these the two by ones in here? Oh, yeah, here they are. This is I'm going to say Rockets in seven. All right, see ya, Hux. See ya, General Hux. Thanks for hanging out in the stream. You're always Dude, if it comes down to seven Welcome games, I'll be so stressed. Yeah. But I don't think there's any way we win it in less than that. Let's just win it in four. How about that? Just four blowouts? Yep. <laughs> Seth Curry breaks his leg in the first game. Kevin Durant breaks his leg in the second game. Clay Thompson breaks his leg in the third game. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but that would be. Remember that? What was that? We played. I think we played them in the playoffs. Uh, I think it was. What was it last year? It was two years ago in the finals. And uh, there was that one play where, like, Steph Curry went up to get a rebound, but he, like, flipped over Trevor Reeves' back and landed on his neck. And everyone was like, I'm totally disappointed about this. But he ended up coming back in the same game. CP3 in two. CP3 is going to rewrite the rules of basketball. Golden State is just going to give up. CP3, like, can we talk about that that latest performance of his? All right, here's a question. What would be more disappointing, if we lose to Golden State in the Western Conference Finals, or if we blow Golden State out in the Western Conference Finals, but then lose to, like, the Celtics in the NBA Finals? <laughs> I would prefer that, honestly. If we lose to... I mean, yeah, because we beat Golden... But that would just be so... Like, we made it this far, and we lose to the freaking Celtics. I'll take it. Hmm. 
He says, three years ago when Curry almost died. Yeah, bro, he landed right on his neck. yourself boyo brick miller studio says do you guys share your ports or ports do you share your parts or how do you do that uh most of the filler is shared um everything else is pretty much that's here is pretty much for my collection like specialty pieces that's actually not true um anything that we bought we obviously share like since this mock has started anything that wasn't purchased specifically for this mod probably just comes from my collection so like we obviously we bought like salt and slopes and stuff like that for this mod he says losing in the finals would be 10,000 times more disappointing I think I'd rather lose in the western conference finals yeah like that would be so freaking depressing uh, dude like we make it all that way and then just lose at least losing to Golden, Golden State, State. Like, I would love to be Golden State but I need to split up parts. I can take part a lot. Well, we get a thousand degree knife. I think what's gonna happen after this mock? It'll be like well, we both have a pretty good idea of like. And like, honestly, if there was anything that like say one of us ended up with one more bag of filler than we necessarily put in, it's like it's not a big deal. It's <laughs> not a huge deal. Like we're gonna we collaborate on mocks with each other like often enough to where it'd be like. Um, you know, it's going to go back into the same things. Or if someone was working on something and they needed something that the person wasn't using, it'd be like, hey, can I borrow, like, a bag of the stuff? Or, exactly. Like, a lot of the stuff we have, just a lot of, so it's, we can part out, part ways with it. Like, Jay and I both have huge bags of certain things, and if, like, if I ended up with, like, two huge bags of a part, I would give half of it to Jay. I would just, like, give half of it to him. Like, I'm pretty sure we did that not too long ago. There's two by two gray plates. Yeah, exactly. I have, like, a ton of them, and so we, I just, like, split it on the one game. I got a mad hookup. Welcome to my house. It's my house. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying. It's my house. Capella has been a monster. A monster. Yeah, great. You are a monster. Loving the stream so far. Thanks. We're actually going to be ending pretty soon. Garrett's got birthday plans. I got stuff to do. Why the rush? Parents want. What? Is any idea when you'll build the Y wing? I don't know. I might do it tonight. Depends on how I feel, I guess. I have to feel like it. Eh, I don't really feel like it. Drink tea said he just got himself some mango juice. That's what's up. <laughs> Stormy Brick says, if I had one Lego piece in my collection, would I be called Stormy Brick? You would still be Storm Thought. Storm Thought. Storm th <laughs> Can we expect a dedicated video on it? Yeah, I'll probably do some sort of review for the Wiling. can also expect a dedicated video on Tim McGraw. Thesis on Does the he end. still make music? Yeah. 
square. Here's, you give like an hour long thesis on your on the impact of Steve McGraw or Tim McGraw. Steve, Steve who is Steve McGraw? This is his brother. Does he actually have a brother called Steve McGraw? Uh, not to my knowledge. I think she's leaving. I don't know what else to do. I wouldn't know what else to do either, Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw. Not the biggest country fan. I must confess. I awesome. must confess to you all. I don't blame you at all. Cause I'm Tim McGraw. Cause I'm Tim McGraw. That should be the name of that song. I'm Tim McGraw. Cause my name is Tim McGraw. I think about it over and over again. Yeehaw! <laughs> Rick Woods says Tim McGraw or Cardi B. That's a, come on, man. Really? Really? Which one makes money moves? Exactly. And which one is just hung up over some chick? That's all country music, though. That's that is true. McGraw. All my horses live in portraits. What? I was trying to make a remix. All my exes live in Texas. <laughs> all my horses live in portraits. <laughs> Cardinal says Tim McGraw or Flo Rida. I'm going Flo Rida. I'm going to go with Tim McGraw. Ooh. Uh, can you turn yours uh, to the other side real quick? That I can do. This will be good to look at. Oh, that really is coming along. Yeah, it's getting there. Oh, crap. We're going to have to fill that in, I think. It's not a big deal, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then this will basically come back up. And it'll be filled in on the side. Yep. Right, cool. Exactly. I just realized I put all these dark tan bricks in here and none of them are going to be visible. <laughs> that's all right. There's so many pieces down here that's like, okay, I better put dark gray here. I'm yep. looking ahead and then nope. you don't even see it. As you can only see it. Cardi B, more like cardio Ben. What? <laughs> uh, that's actually pretty cool. That's awesome. I wish we had this salt enough. I know. I mean, I guess you just built that today, so. Uh, yeah, I did this in high tire speed anyway. Wow. Mm -hmm. I know that was impressive. I was I, like, I looked over and I saw you were, like laying those plates down all smart and stuff too on top of the pillars. I was oh, like, yeah. look at that. We've done this enough times to where I can I can do it at least smart. It says two streams this week. Uh, probably not. I don't think. Well, are you up tomorrow? I am, but I'm busy. You busy? Yeah, I have family coming in town. All right. Well, yeah. Nope. I'm trying to do a lot of independent work this week. I would like to start the rock section on the other side. Dude, that looks so good here. Let's. All right, so we're pretty much finished up. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys what we've done. You have to put yours over here. Wow. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah. So this is. Kind of what we've done today guys garrett obviously has built up the rocks on this side i started making the door so if you guys are wondering um the door is gonna it slopes kind of invertedly and then at this point it'll revert back to the normal door so this is pretty good idea of what this is going to look like uh benjamin says how are you going to do the alt version of the door so the idea is i actually left this section open thank you brick builder studios appreciate that um, the idea, I left this section open. There'll basically be kind of like a pull-out section that'll just pop out right here. And then um, it'll look kind of destroyed on the inside of the door. And you'll be able to look through it, like, through either side, obviously. And then there'll be, like, Luke walking through. So if you guys can imagine, like, Luke will be kind of walking through, like, right here. He says it's not suspended, right? No, the door will not be suspended. Um, it'll be stationary. But yeah, this is, I think, a pretty good look at where this mock is heading right now. So, 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to finish it up, guys. Everyone, that's cool to see this come together. Appreciate that, Jake Bosch. Everyone's getting all generous now that we're about to head out. Um, Thanks, Jake. So, uh, everyone, say happy birthday once more to Garrett. Uh, appreciate you for spending your birthday time with me and the, the folks back yeah, home. It's great. I wouldn't want to spend my birthday anywhere else. Building building mocks and hanging out with the boyos. For sure, for sure, for sure. So, yeah, guys. Um, Thanks, kid. The stay tapes. tuned. Obviously, the update is going to come this Sunday. Um, we'll let you know sometime soon when the next stream is going to be. <laughs> Thank you, BrickWiz. But we actually do have to go. Um, Garrett has birthday plans, man. Uh, so yeah, we'll let you know when the next stream is coming and, uh, thanks for everything guys. You make this all worthwhile. So appreciate all of you for staying with us. It was a really fun stream. I thought today we got to share some life some stories, life stories on star Wars. And of course got some pretty significant pieces of the mock built. So that is going to be it. Love you all. That's the first time I said that. Hope it's not awkward. Uh, <laughs> thanks, uh see you guys. Thanks guys. Bye guys. See y'all later. The boy.